Hello, hello, friends, and welcome back to another Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 playthrough video. Next up on our list of expert parks is Ghost Town. The objective is to have 10 different roller coasters, each with an excitement of 7, and to be at least 3,937 feet long, or essentially 4,000 feet long per roller coaster. That's a tall order. But fortunately for us, this park is pay per ride and not pay for entrance. So let me open the park and let's delete some of the stuff we don't need like these, uh, oops, I messed up my path. Let's remove the scenery we don't need, as I said, get some extra cash and fire our staff because these guys, as funny as they are, serve no purpose at all. Gallows, we don't want to scare our guests. Why do we have gallows in this park? Sorry guys. We don't need you, so ha! Alright, so we made about a thousand, two thousand-ish extra dollars. Now, here's a funny thing. So we have to have ten roller coasters that have to be enormous and also have a high excitement rating. And the only roller coaster that we have that could realistically achieve that is the wooden roller coaster. So I'm going to turn our scientific research up to maximum and turn water off. Shops and stalls, let's leave that on. Yeah, I think we'll leave everything else on for now. All right, so we're not going to be able to afford those monster roller coasters for a while. So what we should really do is just build, build a successful, profitable park. And as our park grows and we get more people into the park, then we can think about building monster roller coasters. So to start with, let's build some basic flat rides and charge as much as we can for them. There we go. Six dollars for enterprise. And we have the pirate ship. This is one of my favorite rides in real life, actually, because it's like, I, I you know, the best part of a roller coaster is the drop, or you could argue it's the airtime, or it's the airtime at the top of a drop if you're in the back seat. I don't know. Anyway, but what this does is it feels like a drop over and over and over and over again. So I really like these. And I think we can charge, can we charge $5 for this? Let's see. I guess we'll find out in a minute. And we need every Roller Coaster Tycoon Park needs a merry-go-round. The soul of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Awesome. I'm going to leave this price where it is because the merry-go-round is super cheap. And I think even as the ride ages, people stop paying this. I might actually have to reduce the default which is really funny. So we have 22 people in the park. Let's add some more stuff. Let's add one of these, a twist. What are these actually called in real life? Anyway, whatever it's called, we're gonna build one. And we will probably demolish many of these or at least move them somewhere else later in the park as we develop because we're going to have to expand our path out to the border here, and we might even expand it over this mountain range. Hopefully not for long, not for a while, because that's rather expensive. Oh look, people are getting in line to pay $5 on the pirate ship, that's good. Twist one, I think we can charge three. I might be pushing it though. What else we got? Ooh, we got go-karts, I'm gonna build some go-karts. This is a nice little money cruncher. Where do I, where should I put this? Let's fill this spot over here. I'm gonna call it canyon carts because if you drive like a fool, you fall off the track and land in the canyon. <laughs> Although I guess I wouldn't call this a canyon. It's more just a river that has no water in it. Speaking of which, I do plan to fill that river. I mean, look at it. It's just begging to have water in it. But not yet, when we have money. I'll do it when we, oh, bring that back. I'll do it when we are a little bit richer. Let's charge $5 for the go-karts. Don't you just love the merry-go-round music? It's so good. Let me know in the comments whether or not I am the only one who, uh, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I actually turn, I actually play that music in the car sometimes <laughs> while I'm driving. I think I shouldn't have built this here. Uh, that was a mistake. Let's uh, not do that. Let's instead put it here, like so. 
and move the exit over to there and move the entrance to, I don't know, right there. We're, gonna, we're probably gonna demolish this too later. Right now, we're just building, we're just getting our, our basic infrastructure set up. And we can charge 12 for this. Oops, not 200 something. Okay. And perhaps. I had to, it just fit so well. Okay. I never actually named this. Canyon carts. There we go. And from ride tickets, we've made not even, we made $150. That's not very much, is it? <laughs> That's terrible. Do we have a Ferris wheel? Oh, we don't have a Ferris wheel. That's too bad. Well, while the merry-go-round is making all kinds of noise over here, let's bring some music to this side of the park and make this, um, let's actually put it over here. There we go. Let's make that four dollars. Why did you turn away? Is that okay? No thoughts. I don't know if people are gonna pay for the four dollars though. I might have to turn that down to three dollars. We'll find out. Um, I'm trying something new in this video. Uh, my very first roller coaster tycoon video was Electric Fields, and the and everything looked a lot bigger in that video. But that was not on purpose. I, that was because when I recorded it, I had the resolution or I had the game set to windowed mode, and for some reason, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, took that and tucked it into the corner of my screen. So I had to stretch it to enlarge it to 1080p, but that drastically reduced the quality. You can probably see it in the video. It's not very good quality. I did find a fix for it by changing the changing to a full screen borderless window mode, but 1.25, the window scale factor, this is what I normally play at. But it occurred to me that it's probably harder to see this if you're watching from a mobile device. So I bumped it up to 1.5, and I think I might actually like it better. This looks a lot closer to, the scale looks a lot closer to what it looks like on our old computers way back in the day when we played this eons ago. <laughs> so I don't know, let me know in the comments what you prefer. Does it look better like this? Or does it look better like this. Let me close the window so you can see. Yeah, most of my Roller Coaster Tycoon videos look like this, and looking at them side by side, I personally, I think I like this 1.5 better. You're just much closer to the action. Not this close though, this is way pixelated. <laughs> okay, how much money are we making? We made $1,000 last month, that's terrible. Oh, oh, I forgot. Someone reminded me in the comments that I keep forgetting to put stalls down. So, I think I can charge more for that actually. Uh, 2.5, 2.50. And I don't wanna miss out on any potential revenue I can get, especially in the early stages of this park. So I'm gonna bop this up. Okay, so now we have, oh, I never opened this, did I? Oh, it's broken down, I missed that. We need a mechanic already. Let's get some handyman. And what else can we do here? Let's, um... Oh yeah, bathrooms. As always, bathrooms in my park cost money. <laughs> Free the pee, they say. <laughs> you know when you're desperate enough, you'll pay anything to pee. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite one. Of all the of all the tracks that the, uh, the merry-go-round plays, I think this one is my favorite. Same price throughout park, and we'll set the maps to 120. Yep, they sell for 120. Oops, not drinks. Uh, balloons, I want balloons. Give me balloons! And we'll plop this down right here, and set this to random color. And the price, eh. Can I charge 150 for balloons? I can't recall. Okay, no, people are turning away, but there's no thoughts. So I don't know if it's because it's too expensive or they're just not interested. Oh, uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's think about what other rides we can build. 
We should build, we should probably build, oh, let's build a magic carpet. I wonder where we can fit this. Um, oh, we can fit it here. All right. And open up, and I think we can charge $4 for this one, so we'll leave that to make money for us. And with our remaining cash, let's build a modest, small wooden roller coaster. Although, we'll make it as intense and crazy as possible to really try to squeeze as much money as we can out of it. So, also to speed up the throughput, we'll start it off the ground so the lift hill time is slower. Okay, like one more piece. There we go, two trains. <clears throat> All right, up to 45 feet. That allows us to go down to ground level when we do this. What is this layout, though? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to, trying to innovate here. Let's put a photo section right over the track. And just like that. Okay, so we're up to five feet. Now I think if we helix twice, Oh no, that doesn't work. Dang it. Okay, maybe if we leave this at ground level, now if we helix twice... no, nah, not that. This one. Actually, what if I just do this? Yeah, that works. Well, no, 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 I don't want to do that. That's risky, because we could have a roller coaster collision. But this should slow it down. So let's go 13, 13, and straight piece there. Wow, that took a lot of money for such a small roller coaster. And I think 45 to zero, I think we met the re the minimum requirement for drop height, so I don't think we'll have a stat penalty, but uh, let's test it to be, sure, to be certain. Oops. Uh, oops times two. No, oops times three. <laughs> I was trying to put it here. All right. That is the wrong color of path. There we go, just a few dollars wasted. What are the ratings on this? Ooh, not bad. Not bad for such a small roller coaster. I like it. Let's open up and change this to $12. And uh, as always, $3.50 for park tickets, or for, uh, not tickets, for photos. And let's think about this awful color. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Let's go for wooden, plain wood supports, and... What should we color the track? I've noticed I have a tendency to keep reusing the same color scheme, so I'm going to try something a little different here. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Not my usual colors, but... Yeah, I think I like this. This is kind of neat. Let's opt for log cabin. Oops, what, what is that doing there? Huh. What are the thoughts of riders? Too intense, they say. <laughs> can I charge? Can I charge more for this? I'm just gonna start rapid clicking as they start going through until they stop. Just to find out how much can I charge? How much can I charge? Will you pay 14 for it? They will pay. What about 15? <laughs> wow. Yeah, people are still getting in line. Okay, so we'll have to pay close attention to this to be sure we catch it before before people stop paying. I don't want to lose money on it. And let's advertise it. Wooden Roller Coaster 1. Mm. 
Rattler. Rattlesnake. There we go. And these colors do look like kind of the, the angry colors of a snake, don't they? And with the remaining money we have, let's turn this down while we think about our next move. What other flat rides do we have? Is anyone paying for this? I was afraid of that. Okay, let's bring this down to three. It's not making any money. It's just been wasting money this whole time. Yeah, we've already lost 20 bucks on it. Okay, now they want to go on something more thrilling, but... Okay, we have some takers. That's good. Uh, where's my handyman at? I need you to clean up the entrance to the park, because this is a big mess. Okay, so for theming... I'm not sure, so this is a desert. I don't want to change the whole park like we did in Extreme Heights because that is extremely expensive when you do it in large scale. But we could just embrace the sandiness and opt for some kind of, maybe instead of Wild West, this could be Egyptian themed? I don't know. We'll, we'll decide on that when we have the money to decide on that. <laughs> Where'd my handyman go? Why, is, why isn't he doing his job? Come on, buddy. I need you to do your thing. Yeah, this thing is a money grinder. Look at it go. Woo! $15 per ride. And I, it's so tiny, though. <laughs> this is great. Okay, our ad campaign's just finished. So let's start them over again. Advertise the park and advertise the Woody. Where is it? Rattler, since I renamed it. Let me take that money back. And start. So we almost have our loan paid off already. And... We're turning out a big profit, so it won't be long before we can start working on our huge rides. But to get an idea of how big we have to build them, let's, uh, how long is this? Okay, so this is, um... Yeah, so this ride is about a third of the size that we need, I think. Maybe a little smaller than a third, I'm not sure. Oh, yay, this is my favorite merry-go-round song of the playlist of, of uh, merry-go-round songs that play. We have a full train. This thing is popular. Look at it go. Holy smoke, 45,000 per hour. Nice. And I guess it's because it's small, the train, the throughput is improved because the train gets back to the station pretty quickly. Never mind, check that. I forgot that. It the train actually goes through the course very slowly because the lift hill is so small, but whatever. But yeah, it was decently good. Let's leave that to do its thing and turn this down again. And again. I love this fast forward button. This is not a feature in the vanilla game. Okay, so the loan is paid off. Look at it go. Okay, the, the ad campaign's just finished. Let's take a quick inventory of our rides, see if no one is... Oh, race won by Angel something, I missed it. Angel S? Rachel S? I misread that. <laughs> okay, everything has riders, so nothing is overpriced yet. Because as rides age, the, the amount of people are willing to pay for them decreases. Let's build another balloon stall on this side of the park. And leave the... We'll put this uh, yellow, the color of happiness. Let's sell t-shirts. Get some extra cash from those. I, I can't remember how much we... I, I should make notes. I should write these down. But I always forget how much you can charge for some of these less common items. Let's not have random colors. Let's go... What color are togas? I don't know. Let's just make it red, whatever, the default. Oh, we have a topspin. Let's build a topspin. Oh, we also have a swinging inverter ship. Nice. Make some extra money for us. And I don't have room for it, darn it. I gotta put it over here. Uh, whoops. Okay, and this ride can... Oops. No, no, no. Don't close. This ride, I can charge $5 for, I think. 
because it is intense enough, it's exciting enough with these ratings. It is kind of a vomit machine, though, because of the high nausea. Speaking of which, let's put down some benches. Something I've been wondering, do, do guests sitting down, does that count towards, does that decongest the park and reduce the crowdedness of it? Or are they still counted towards crowdedness even when they're sitting? That's something I've been, if someone could let me know in the comments, that'd be nice. Because I have no idea. Or I guess I could Google it, but I'm, eh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> All right, and with a few more garbage cans, there should be no litter in the park until we expand the pathway, the path layout. And with all this extra money, I forgot to restart this. Let's set that up to four weeks. And Rattler, as always. Okay, let's think about what we want to build next. Top spin, I'm going to ignore that for now, actually, because that's just a vomit machine. Let's build... Let's build... This thing is still generating a lot of money. And I, and I know that if I build another wooden roller coaster, the amount of money we can charge for it goes down. Because if you have two of the same ride, each individual ride can't charge as much. So let's make a vertical drop coaster. Again, not so big that it's counting towards the victory conditions of the park, but just as a way to make money. And uh, let's turn this off. How many trains do we get? Three trains, that's good. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, no. No, 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 come back, come back. Ah! Go straight, then level, then up like so. There we go. So now we have this little airtime pop right there. Let's loop left. And come back to scent. Oh, my goodness. That's gonna be rough. <laughs> Let's loop right. And then not do that. I'm out of money! I guess, uh, yeah. That's not a bad thing because we paid our loan off. Can I do this? What's in the way here? Is it the... Oh, it's the loop. All right, well, let's not do that. <laughs> and uh, from here, get back to the station. Can I sneak under this? Oh, look at that, I can. Nice. Oh, I'm not even lined up <laughs> with the station. Dang it. Still not lined up. Oops, come on. Let's keep that sloped. There we go. And Oh, I'm still not lined up. What am I what am I doing? Alright, brakes to 18 at first, and then 13 right before the station. There we go. And with that, let's test this bad boy at maximum lift hill speed. Okay, uh train one, follow this on main view. Woo! I want to see what that did. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> that's intense. A very jarring flip in the G-forces. Okay, what did that do? Test results. Oh, what is this? Uh... 
I think there's probably a minimum drop height that we failed to meet, isn't there? Shoot, with that, uh, I am think I'm gonna change this. One more tile! Yes. Let's go to 65. There we go. And with this, we can put on a photo section, which I forgot to include. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Little miniature airtime hop right before the loops. Let's try that out. <laughs> oh yeah! How about that? Follow a main view. Up the mini helix. Boop! Much better, much better. I was a little worried I'd, I'd stall in the loop for how slow it was going the first, the first run through. Okay, and with that, let's release the camera. And test results, please. Oh, much better. It's basically double what it was. Oh, and look, we, our excitement is higher than our intensity. Nice. That's not easy to do with this ride. So let's open that up. Oh, wait, 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 don't open yet. I need money for this. Let's charge $15 with those mega stats we earned and uh, Speaking of money, are people still paying that for this? Fifteen dollars? <laughs> wow, they still are. Nice. Wow, look at that go. Well, we can pay these off and still afford more ad campaigns. Let's set that to six weeks and advertise the vertical drop coaster this time. Set that to six weeks. Boom! And with that, the loan's paid off. We have over $10,000 worth of rides, and we are turning out a big profit. How much money are we making, by the way? Uh, so in the first month, we made $300. <laughs> That's terrible. It's 2,000, 6,000, and then just shy of 9,000. Okay, so we're doing great. This is good. Let's paint this something other than this muted green color. I'm thinking maybe a muted purple color. Yeah, I think I like that. What about with bright red supports? Oh, that's cool! Oh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this color scheme before. This is cool. And the trains, I think I'll leave the trains the way they are. That's fine. Okay. Well. We are halfway through the month, and we already have 4,500, so I think by the end of the month we should have 9,000. Hopefully. Although no one's paying for this. Oh no, I gotta turn it down to two dollars. Any takers? Please? Now there's takers, that's good. Enterprise seems to have also expired and suffered a similar fate, so let's change this to four, not three, four dollars. How much money has this made, by the way? Three thousand? I wonder if I'd make more money by demolishing it and building a new one so I can charge the full price. I don't know. What else are people not riding on? Uh-oh. This one has nobody. Three dollars for you. And two dollars for you. It's all these poor souls who want to get off. Oh, there's no one there. Is there anyone in... There he is. Okay, so he hasn't been on the ride too long yet, so he is not uh, asking to get off. That's good. People are getting in line again. That's good. And these other rides... Yep, I revived them. All right. That may also help us reach 9,000 this month. Okay, what have we been researching? Let's see what we got to work with here. Wooden Wild Mouse. Oh! Wait, where? Oh! They're working on it. We don't have it yet. Okay. Spiral Roller Coaster. That's a weird one. So this, it's easy to get really good stats with this roller coaster, but it just looks janky as heck. I don't really like it that much, just because it looks so weird. Let's tuck some small rides into our park. Maybe put this guy right here. Boop. 250 per ride, peeps. And max people on ride, I don't know why there's a limit on there. I guess it's safety. 
And another great source of income, just a little supplement, is a maze like so. Boop! There we go. <laughs> How should we style this? Let's actually... Let's make these out of uh, brick walls. Masonry. He just went in this. He just did the same thing twice. <laughs> anyway, how many people can go in here? Oh my, sixty-four people. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever have that many people in this because it's so small. It's so schmo. Let's do another one right here. <laughs> it's because that's funny. Oh no 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 no! Not the pre-built. Custom design right there. Okie doke. Same deal. Just a little supplement to money. And uh, how, what style should we make this? Oops, wrong one. Wooden fences. Just for variety. Look at that. We almost got 10,000 last month. So we're on the fast track to build some monster rides soon. Because the rides that we have are turning out a massive profit. Very popular. That's, well, how much is this doing? Ooh! Oh, 51 per, 51,000 per hour, not bad. And look at that. Right as one, tr one train enters the station, another one leaves. That's perfect. I might save this design as a pre-built, actually, so I can use it in future scenarios, just because it's it's got great stats, and it's turning out a massive profit, and it has great throughput, so I really like it. How about this one? Is this one still... Okay, this one is slowed down a bit. It's not as popular, but people are still paying $15 per ticket, per ride ticket, so that's good. Is anything not being uh, ridden? Spiral slide? Okay, I'm charging too much for it. Okay, let's turn, turn this back down to 150. <laughs> what else are people not riding? Oh, that was everything. Okay. All right, it looks like we have... We have added the wooden wild mouse. Although I feel like that I feel like this is more of an aesthetic roller coaster. This does not do much for us in terms of money. Ooh! Incoming thunderstorm. Let's capitalize on that and sell umbrellas. Right at the entrance here. Boop. Random color. Boom. Oh, that poor guy, he has no money. <laughs> Sorry, dude, we don't have any ATMs for you. Let's add more food options. Let's put a hot dog stand right here and charge one, 160. I don't know, maybe more than that, 180. I'm thinking we should start thinking about building a big wooden roller coaster. And let's build it over the mountains so we save space. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's build this in the air. Let's go 10 feet on this one. What should we call this when it's done? I'm thinking something like Dune Hopper. Because, you know, it travels through the sand dunes. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's think about the layout. Um, so far, this is looking like it's going to turn out to be a there and back type roller coaster. Oh, this is fun. Just dive right into the into the valley there. Up to 55. Can I do that? Oh no, I'm crashing right into the mountain. Never mind. The sand dune. I forgot some. I just remembered we need to be thinking about uh, block sections on this because it's going to be pretty big. Okay, so we don't have enough momentum to quite make it up to there. Let's try 55 feet. Or no, 60.
Okay, our ad campaign just finished. Okay, it looks like we can make this taller. Let's bring this up to 70. Although it may not make it. So let's see what it does. Oh, just barely crawls into it. Okay, we're going with a sweet spot, 65. And back into the dunes. Can I do that? Oh no, there's a hill in the way. Dang it. Maybe if I go to 55? No, that's not gonna work. Or will it? Can I can I go up to, 50, to 60 from 65? I probably don't have enough momentum to pull that off. Let's just see. Although, if there's a block break here, the train is going to start slower than what we just saw. So I'm going to say no, that's not going to work. Even though it looked like it worked, but it, it's really not going to work. So let's do this instead. Oh, can't do that. Can I do that? Nope, I cannot. I could probably do this, though. Let's try this. Um, well, I have enough momentum to make it to this block section. Oh, easy. Although, yeah, I keep forgetting that there's going to be a block break right there, which means it's going to crawl out of that spot and barely even make it to this point. So, eh, that's a 15, no, it's a 20 foot difference. Never mind, that should be fine. <laughs> Let's bring this underground by doing this. Oh, it's a... Uh and bring it out of the ground by doing that. Forty-five to thirty-five, that should be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Oh, dang it, I was hoping I could make it flatten out right there. Looks like I can't. Can I do this? Oh, look at that, that's fun. Oh, we just sneak the helix right under the track. That's cool. And up to 30 feet. So from 45 to 30, that should work just fine. Can I discreetly do that? It looks like I can. Let's put some brakes right here. Bring this down to 18 or to 13. And one more set of brakes here. No, 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 this one needs to be block breaks. Okay, so block breaks there. Oh, for goodness sake, that means this is gonna crash. Hold on. Let's break all of this and put breaks here. And now this mountain is in the never mind. We can sneak right past it. Look at that. That's cool. Block breaks. Now let's install all of the other block breaks we need around the roller coaster. Okay. Oops. Oh, that's a wonky layout if I've ever seen one. It's not bad though, I, I kinda like it. Okay, so how many block sections are we working with here? We have five, which gives us four trains. Let's try it out with four trains, but if that doesn't work, we'll have to switch it to three trains. Let's put that over this side. Okay. I think I already set the lift hill speed, so let's follow train one and see what this does. Although we, we won't know how long it is until we get the results back. 
There's probably a way to calculate it from the number of tiles or the number of track pieces it uses, but I don't want to count. But that, eh, no, the, that's probably not right. It doesn't account for curved pieces and... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it is when it's done. Woohoo! Uh-oh. The tail of the roller coaster is hanging off the edge. Oh no! Oh, okay. I was worried it was gonna... You know, no, 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 I forgot something. We need to put tire drive behind these block sections. I'm calling it tire drive. It's a, it's a chain, but I'm gonna call it tire drive just because. You can't stop me. That way, our seven miles per, seven mile per hour lift hill chain speed will usher the, hopefully usher the train out of the way as quickly as possible. Faster than it would have been if it just, you know, did its default thing. See, there we go. Slight acceleration before it gets to the hill. Up the hill. There we go. So I'd prefer that nothing gets stopped. I'd prefer that it just runs continuously. But as long as there's always a train coming into the station as soon as one leaves, then we're okay. So let's just see how this works. I want to maximize throughput because that's the way we're going to maximize money from this. Okay, and we're stopped again. It may be that our last block section is too long. Okay, so yeah, one of these one of these block sections is bottlenecking us. And it's probably the lift hill. Yeah, I'm going to say it's the lift hill and there's not a, there's really nothing we can do about the lift hill because it's already sped up as much as it'll go. Oh my goodness, the ride's not even close to long enough. Okay. Okay. Gosh dang it, we gotta we gotta revamp this big time. <laughs> Maybe give it a second lift hill? I don't know. I kinda like what we have going on though, so let's just uh continue where we were. Look at that, we're right over the station. This will give the guests a good scare. <laughs> Let's add some extra hills. And helix out. Helix again. And do we have room for another wide helix? We do not. That's unfortunate. Look how much money we have. Despite spending all this money on this roller coaster. Real quick, let's check our rides. Enterprise has people. Rattler has zero people. Is that because it's too expensive? Yeah, it's too expensive. Okay, let's change this to 12. See if we can get people onto the ride again. Okay, so Rattler's fixed. Anything else without people in it? All right, I think we're good now. That's good. So let's close that, close that, and back to this monstrosity. This uh, very bizarre looking wooden roller coaster we have going on here. Eh, that's not gonna work. Um, can we discreetly sneak under there? No, we can't. Okay. Um, what if I do this? I can't see what I'm doing. Can I do this? Nope. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to do something different. Let's come out of this area entirely. This block section was 45. So, I hope we'll have enough momentum to do this. Hold on, let me change this back to continuous circuit mode so I can turn the ghost train on. And let's see if that will reach this point. I'm not confident it will, especially after the helix, because the helix really chews up a lot of the energy stored in the... Never mind, I was wrong, that's perfect. Let's put a block section here. Boop. 
and the second lift hill. Because I think that's the only way we're going to squeeze more length out of this. Actually, wait, wait, wait. We were only 1,000 feet away from the ideal length. So I'm going to say that we are in good shape, although we do need to lift this up a little bit. So this small lift hill will be our another block will be another block section as uh, like so and now can i do two helixes here nope i cannot what if i start it sooner okay so it's not the ground in the way it's the roller coaster in the way where is it i can't tell <laughs> there's two the supports are in the way Okay, let's put brakes right here. 13. And hopefully that'll give us enough space that we don't have any collisions. But I'm not confident. Nope! Definitely not enough space. We have to give this way more space. So let's break this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like a like a pro oh, look at that hashtag fixed how many trains do we have now that's too many we're gonna have a crash or something let's do four trains where's train one look at this mess you can't even see the roller coaster anymore i was thinking i'd try to make this park aesthetic but <laughs> with the, the requirements for the roller coasters that's gonna be tricky That doesn't look terrible, I suppose. It's just it's just different. Okay. Oh, and look at that. The block section did not catch us. Although that might be because we took one of the trains away. Okay, that turn right there was more than more G's than I'd like. So let's change that. I didn't think I'd have to do this, which is why I didn't, but I guess we have to. Just to ensure that the intensity rating isn't too high. Because that could really mess us up. Let's fast forward the part we've already seen. Okay, lateral G's. Much better. Didn't even cross two. All right, we're right over the station. Through some funky helixes. And this block section did not stop us. This one did, though. Huh. Anyway, I don't know. It looks okay. I think we may have... I think we've added enough length to the track that it should be okay. Oh, it's so close. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the exact number? Let me check. Oh, it needs to be 10 feet longer. Oh my goodness. It is so close. I have an idea. A cheeky, a cheeky, cheaty idea. Watch this. I'm going to take what we did here. And I'm gonna just uh, <laughs> do that. Oh no, it's in the way. Oh my goodness. Well, instead of doing it there, we'll, oops. We'll leave this place the way it was, flatten that out and add it here instead. So let's go straight one helix down and one more straight spot. <laughs> now it's long enough just barely so let's let that test and what was that notification I just got oh we have a lay down roller coaster how many roller coasters have I gotten that I wasn't paying attention to a lot that's good we have a lot of additional rides 
Anyway, oh, look at that. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Perfect. All right. Now we just gotta acrobatically finagle our our uh, pathway back to the back to the main path. Our queue line. And that's not gonna work. Okay. All right, perfect. And with that, with those massive stats, and this is a pretty long ride, so I feel comfortable charging. I might actually charge 16 for this. Let's do that. Let's see if people will ride it for 16. I'm pretty sure these have expired, so let's restart them. Max that out. Oh, look at that. We have tens of thousands of dollars. This is Wooden Roller Coaster 1, since the other one has a name. And yep, people are getting in line. That's good. All right. Let's theme this monster. What should we call this? Dusty Dunes. I'm pretty sure I've used that name before, but I haven't saved it or shown it on the channel, I don't think? Maybe I did, I can't remember, but we're gonna call it Dusty Dunes. And let's color this, and no, definitely not that color. That is an interesting color, it looks sandy. Well, now you can hardly see it. Um, black rails, black track. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's not cool. <laughs> let's just leave all of that black. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm not liking the trains though. Let's change the train color. Let's make these. Let's, okay, different colors for train. Train one, blue. Train two, red. Train three, yellow. Train three, green. Boom. We got all the primary colors plus one. And still alone of zero. Yeah, we are smashing this park. It's, yeah, we're, we're, we got this park in the bag, I think. It's all uphill from here. All right, now let's take a, let's take inventory of our other rides. This one seems to have stopped. No one is on the ride. Uh, not paying that much. Eh, it's $12, but eh. yeah, I'd say this, this ride has reached the end of its useful life. So let's get rid of it. Let's make space. Make room for bigger and better rides, such as, let's see. Oh, we have a twister. Do we have enough money to build a full-size twister? I'd say we do, let's do it. With the twister, I have the luxury of making it very compact because of the variety of track pieces it has available to it. So let's see if we can cram this into a space. To do that, I think I actually need to expand the park first. So let's make our path, our pathway bridge out over our our dried up river. Oh no, that's not the type of path I want. I want this one. And I think I don't want to break that tree. So let's actually cross here. Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of the paths in my park. Oh boy, where's, where's the damage? I mean, I saw a little bit over here. Oh yeah, that, that, that spot. <laughs> yeah, they're all stopping and looking at their shoe. Look at them. <laughs> Ah, oh, what is that? <laughs> okay, where is one of my handyman? Let's get this cleaned up. Maybe give him a, a zoning assignment. Actually, no, no, let's give him... Oops, hold on, hold on, I'm confused now. Uh, who's responsible for this zone? Okay. Hold on, whoever has this zone doesn't have that exit tile. So let's include the exit tile so we don't uh, have a massive buildup of nastiness. Okay. And I think you... Yes. Okay. Let's 
give him the bridge and the exit of the magic carpet. Okay, that's good. And I won't worry about that for now. Let's get back to building our path. I'm actually gonna freehand this and all the little mistakes we make are just gonna be the natural layout of the park because I don't want this to be excessively symmetrical because that just doesn't look very good. Um, here we go. Let's sneak through here. Back to freehand. And I guess we can make this into some kind of roundabout. Okay. So now we've have we have a complete loop through the park. Now we can build our twister. And I wonder if we can cram the actual size required into this tiny footprint. But no, I'm not gonna do that. That looks like that looks too complicated. But I think we could get a super mega money cruncher if we do a dueling coaster, but it's all one roller coaster. So we get the length required, but it doesn't look that long because it looks like two parallel roller coasters. So let's get fancy here. But anyway, let's test this thing. Four trains, that's perfect. They are floorless trains, that's good, but I do not like this color. And what is this track color? What is this nasty, weird, wonky? Ooh. Any Boise State fans? <laughs> Let's change this. Um, blue and yellow. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, test this bad boy. I forgot we need to synchronize to adjacent stations. Synchronize with adjacent stations. So we have to prime it by letting this train go through and get out of the way. There we go. Now it's primed. Okay, place your bets. Who's going to win the race? <laughs> I'm going to say train four. Everything looks good. They're perfectly synced so far. Perfectly synced. I win! <laughs> train four wins. <laughs> Although that does mean we have to do a bit of work to even this out. Why was this one so slow? Oh, it's because the block break stopped it, but didn't stop this one. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so this outer one was a bit faster. So to fix that, I'm going to change this hill entirely to be a more gradual slope. And maybe uh, we'll have to move this. A cute little small hill. So this will accelerate slower than the steep one. So let's, let's try this now. Let's prime it, get out of the decongested system. All right. Let's see, where's my train? Train four. Come on, train four, you can do this. We're gonna win. Woo! <laughs> Although I should probably see if this train, this roller coaster is even long enough to meet the requirement. Looks better so far. Ah, still came in hot in the lead. Okay, before we do anything else, let's see how long the track is. Because I don't want to spend all this time perfecting this model if we don't even have a track that meets the requirement of 4,000 feet in length. Why is it frozen? Oh no! Wait, oh no, it's because I, it's because I closed it. <laughs> What's wrong with me? And our merry-go-round has died. Ride length. Oh no, it breaks it up. It doesn't add them together. And it's too extreme. You know what? As fun as this was, this is a, oh no, I opened it by mistake. I lost all that money. That was a waste of time. Let's just build a proper roller coaster. What am I doing? Two, three, four, five, six. So we should get two trains. That's good. Oops. Okay. Can I pull this off? Under. Nope. That's not going to work. 
we edit this path a bit and delete this segment. There we go, much better. Go back to the path. And now, let's add some inversions. Make this crazy. Left, not left, right, corkscrew right. And barrel roll right. No, barrel roll left. And corkscrew right. Very fun. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's neat. Okay, and with that, let's helix down, helix up a little bit, uh, we can't do that, never mind. Um, let's see if we can loop a loop through itself. Just like so, and of course we don't have room. <laughs> I'm going to do it somewhere else. <laughs> Darn it! Uh, let's put a photo section here, just because we can. That's the wrong kind of loop. And I did that wrong. Let's, uh, I think we have to do this the other way. Like this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I did it backwards. And now, I wonder if I can mirror this. Well, I have enough momentum to get all the way back up to a higher loop. And I think I did this wrong. Hold on, let me let me see exactly how I did this. Um Oh, I get it. Okay. I'm not giving myself enough space. So this flattens and then curves. Okay. Straighten out. There we go. Ho ho. Now the uh, hmm. This looks like a frog. We have these bulging eyes and bulging cheeks. We just need like a mouth thing going on here. I don't even know how I see stuff like that. Look at that. Perfect. And I screwed up my cactus! My poor cactus, no! <laughs> okay, well, this ride needs to be really long, so I'm just gonna keep on adding adding details to it until I think it's long enough. Oops! Although I have a feeling that it's going to be too intense if I add any more inversions, so let's, let's just add hills. Though I don't think I have enough momentum to go to 55 again, so let's try 45. Never mind, this is in the way. Let's try this instead. Okay, we have plenty of momentum. That's good. To, that's good to know. What's in the way? Okay, it's that. Can I sneak under it? Like that? Okay. Not worth it. But now the path's in the way. Instead, let's do this. There we go. Now isn't this a fun layout? <laughs> wow. Right. Loop right. This may be the only loop I can get, the only inversion I can get away with at this point. But I'm feeling adventurous, so let's do, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> and now we're, so we go over the, over the station. Although I think we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, add a vertical, we shouldn't, what am I saying? We shouldn't helix it. Let's just go. Stay on the ground. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Let's 
Excuse me, fellas. Make way for the construction of our new roller coaster. Oops. Let's break over here to 13, as always. I spend right. Entrance and exit. Now, I have a feeling this may not be long enough. I mean, look at this one. But you never know, I have a lot of inversions, which eat, they all add uh, length to it. So let's just see what happens. <laughs> that was messy. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's plenty long. Look at that. But our stats are a serious problem. So I think we need to change a few things. Yeah, let's take out these unnecessary inversions. I kind of like this corkscrew thing. Uh, corkscrew, th <laughs> corkscrew thing, though. So let's uh, leave that. Let's take out the uh, take out this loop, which we don't need. Okay, I feel like I just ruined it. Hold on. Um, I wonder if I can fit this in here now. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And hopefully those, hopefully those helixes will absorb some of the energy from our train so it doesn't come in so hot and kill the riders on this corkscrew. Now what else can we take away? I like these loops, I don't want to mess with those, but we could potentially remove this. But we have to we have to connect these somehow. So... Let's go up to 45 feet. And how tall are we? We are at 20. Okay, so that, sh <laughs> that should uh, hopefully tone down the intensity a little bit. Although the intensity may just be because we're taking some of these loops as fast as we are. Not much we can do to fix that without just completely demolishing this segment of the- Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Hold on, how close can this go? <laughs> they were about to hit each other. What just happened? Why is it so much slower now that I took that out? It's almost like that inversion added speed. I think we need to boost it. Trim boosters. That's what we're going to call it. Trim boosters. Just like trim brakes. Let's change the color of these awful trains. I think this is one of the default colors. Now that's electrifying. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It just went right through that loop. Didn't get hung up at all. Now I'm, I'm, it might be too fast through this corkscrew. Yeah, I'm gonna put some brakes here. I'm not comfortable with that speed because that might be one of the reasons our intensity is as high as it high as it is. So let's see what this does. There we go, much better. Stats, please. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh no, but we took away too much. Oh no! Uh, this park's gonna be a struggle, I think. We need to add more stuff to this ride. Crap. Let's uh, rid take away this spot. Maybe... Can I? No, I'm over the track now. I have to S-bend it. Oh, 
I guess I could take away this whole... I like this corkscrew, it's cool. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's see what we can do. Um... I think if we do this first... Ah, this is better. Okay, now it's a little cleaner. There we go. All right. I think we got it. This should add more length to the track. And I think these... Yeah, I think these helixes will absorb a lot of the energy out of the... Holy smoke! We bumped the stats up a lot. <laughs> and we are plenty long. Perfect. Finally! The stupid roller coaster's done. <laughs> Let's change this uh, path type. Let's see. Can I... Let's change the color. And give it metallic support rails. There we go. Nice to keep this in theme. And I forgot to reconnect this path. I'm sorry, guests. I'm sure you got lost and turned around plenty of times. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Price, 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 price. $178. No! 18. No, I'm still. Ugh. $18, thank you. Will people pay $18? Oh, they will. Our stats are good enough that we can charge $18 for this ride. <laughs> Do we have kiosks for cash ATMs? I don't think we do. That's gonna be a serious, uh, that's gonna be a problem. But anyway, I think this, we are long overdue for an advertisement. So let's advertise the park and advertise this magnificent new twister roller coaster. What should we call this? Tesla coil. There we go. I mean, look at this. <laughs> and then the helix says, it seems fitting. I wonder if we have any complimentary theme, uh, themery, scenery. Oh my gosh. I am, my ma I am getting so tongue-tied today. I actually, this is a different take. I stopped recording right after the phrase, it's all uphill from here. This, I'm actually recording this, I think two or three days after I recorded that segment because it was too long. And also because of some recording issues I had where the, the recent update to open RCT2 screwed up roller coasters. So we keep having ghost stations where the game thinks there's a station that isn't there and won't let you test or open the ride. So I recorded for like two hours before it all became, well, I actually recorded twice. I recorded once for about an hour and it was all corrupted. I recorded again and then that became corrupted. So I took a break and came back to record the session that you did see. So I was tired and I needed a break. So I'm coming back again. And for some reason today, I am horribly tongue tied. But no matter, we will press forward. Let's see. We have, oh, we have a Giga Coaster. Let's save that for later because that's tall enough we can just build that over everything. So, the Corkscrew Roller Coaster will be tricky because it's really easy to overdo the intensity on this. But I wonder if I can squeeze one into this little spot and maybe weave it around. Let's make this a there and back type roller coaster. So. Let's figure out the exit first before we go too far with this. All right, so now that we have an exit situation sorted out, how long would train do we get? Longer. Still longer, oh my goodness. There we go, now we have two trains. Perfect. One hundred and five feet. This will be a monstrous roller coaster. And already I'm not, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh no, it's supposed to go to a hundred, whoops. Hundred feet. And because of open RCT2, the, the corkscrew roller coaster has access to these track pieces. 
the gradual slope to level pieces. And I made that way too tall. <laughs> Whoops. So we have a 25 foot difference here. That should be okay. Okay, I think we need to go back up again. Yep, that looks that looks good. Let's do that. And now we can't because we're stuck. Let's try... I think we should probably bank that, actually. There we go. Oops. I keep hitting the plus instead of the arrow. That's one problem from trying this different zoom setting, is I'm not used to the where these buttons are, so I keep clicking the wrong one. I wonder if I could block section this roller coaster. But if I did, I'd have to edit these paths. Which I can do! Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's block section this. Block breaks. And we will move that path to here. Okay. Mr. Green shirt? Okay, he got it. Figured out. Perfect. Okay. And now, change this to continuous circuit mode, so we can still see our little ghost train. Which I don't think I ever turned on, actually. Okay. Oh wait, no, it was on. It just turned off, because I entered block section mode. Anyway. Let's make this into a block section. Although I think we can get away with going a little taller for that. From 100 to 75, that should be good. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. So let's have some boosters to usher the train out of the block section. And then block brakes. Oops. And with that, drop. Woo! So far, no inversions. I have to be really conservative with my inversions on this ride. Specifically because the corkscrew roller coaster is too intense. It's very easy to overdo it with this ride. So now I've taken up all this ground space. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should... Eh, we have all this other space to work with. Whatever. We'll be building in the air. I, I remember playing this scenario years and years ago, and by the time I won, I had... It was so ugly. I had so many roller coasters just towering over everything and catwalks and boardwalks everywhere. It was terrible. But I won, so whatever. It was ugly as heck. I can't do that. But I can do that. Oh, fancy. Very fancy. I like that. Although I think I need to draw this block section. I need to close off this section because this is going to really bottleneck our ride. Oh, wow. That went farther than I expected it to. Okay. So, our first block section, obviously, is the lift hill, which is pretty long. Then we have a big drop, another drop, another drop, and then block section right off the bat. So, this next block section can't be that long. So, I'm going to shorten this. We'll, we'll, we'll do that just after, after this. Now, can we go from 75 to 65, or are we going to lose all of our momentum? We do have the help of these boosters to kind of accelerate us, 
So it's really not... Aha, yep, yeah, perfect. Okay. So that's what I wanted to see. Let's have boosters just like we did before. Speaking of which, are these boosters the wrong speed? Okay. Good to see. Block breaks. Mess up my mode. Switch back to this continuous circuit mode. Reset the ghost train thing. <laughs> That's annoying. Did I put a photo section on this yet? I did not. Look at that. Okay, we got our photo section. That's good. And now let's do the little helix thing we did. Which is not going to work the way I thought it would. Okay. How about now? Okay. Not quite the same, but I like it. How much momentum does this have? Oh, wow. I guess this booster's helping. From 65 to 70. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Let's go... Like so. This is actually pretty long. I might be able to start wrapping up this ride and bring it back to the station and call it good. So let's... And then we can always go back and make it longer if it's not long enough. So... Let's uh, not do that. Oh my goodness, if only I could do that. That would be so nice. Perhaps, hmm. No, hmm. Oh, that comes in hot. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can burn up that stored up energy before we return to the station. Because I don't want to rely on my brakes too much. That merry go music never gets old. Can't do that. And I definitely can't do this, because I just remember just how fast we take this hill. <laughs> that comes in way too hot for that. Instead, let's, uh, we might be able to get away with a wide turn, though. Let's try that. Okay, let's see how bad it looks. Oh, that's not horrible. That's okay. Good to see, good to see. So we're from 65 to 50, but with the help of those accelerators, I think we're okay. But now this block section is getting too long, so let's not go all the way up there. Let's uh, bring this up and find a way to bring us back to zero. I wish I had a, a barrel roll, because if I, I could just go up, barrel roll, then half loop, and just go right back. That would make this so much simpler. Oh, it just occurred to me, this corkscrew has no inversions anywhere. Perhaps... Whoops. Go up one more piece, then half loop, corkscrew left, down, curve, 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 no, I'm sad now. No, oh no, I wish I could do that. Maybe we have to go up one more, but I might not have enough momentum to get through the half loop if I do that. 
Yes? Maybe? Please? Please? <laughs> this would be so cool if it worked. Okay, let's let's see if Train 1 can do it. Come on, Train 1, you got this. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. Can it make it through the half loop? Oh, he can. Oh, it works. <laughs> Look at that. And this brake just failed miserably <laughs> to stop the train. I think we need more of those. And they need to start sooner. Because these trains are apparently very heavy. There we go. Nice and slow when you come up to the block brake. I don't want no collisions on this, on this uh, monstrous corkscrew roller coaster. So, let's build our stations. And test this bad boy. Oh wait, is this still on continuous circuit mode? Oh no. Let's see, block section mode. How many trains do we get? Four trains. I might bump that to three. Where do those trains sit? Okay, so we have one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Okay. With so many trains, I get nervous because it's more likely to have a collision if I made a mistake somewhere. So... Look at how nicely we used up all that space. Okay, train one, where are you? Looks good. Now on a moment's notice, I need to be rapidly click these to get the trains off the, off the track if I ever forgot to have a collision. That looks good. Let's actually monitor our lateral G's, because that's probably going to be what's going to kill us if this is too bad, or if it's too rough. But with only one inversion, I'm inclined to think that this roller coaster won't exceed the threshold of 9. Or 10 intensity. It's 10, not 9. What am I saying? Uh, hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers. Although, eh, that was kind of rough as, as far as negative vertical G's go. So hopefully, I'm going to stop yammering and just let it roll. I don't like how much it's stopping, though. I may have to just take it down to three trains, just so we don't stop so much. Ladder G's look good. That was a little bit rough, but the... Uh, eh, two and a half. Okay, let me go. What do we got? Ooh! It's perfect! It's perfect! And I think leaving the trains stopped like this, as long as we have trains coming into the station soon after they leave, we're good. And having them on the ride means they're off of the path. So I'm actually going to leave that the way it is. What were the stats again? I might be able to charge 15 for this one. 15 and open for business. Are people still riding this or is it too expensive? Oh, they're still riding it. Woo! That's not bad for income. What should we call this? Um, something that arcs. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Sparky, whatever. How are ride tickets going? Okay, we made 10,000 last month. That's good. It looks like last month was our best month. We really, really need the cash machine because that is bottlenecking our income really badly. So what are we... Okay. Ooh, hats. Let's build hats. Just get a little bit of the extra money. Let's see. I'm thinking let's make this some kind of a power plant themed park. Do we have the right scenery for it? Okay, I don't see mechanical theming, so maybe not. Uh... Okay, we'll leave that in the air. For now, let's just sell red hats. Whatever, leave that at the default. But not the default price, what am I doing? Let's sell these for three and four, oops. 350? Okay, people can't afford it, they're out of money. Everyone is out of money. Oh my goodness. people still paying for them come on come on folks come get your hats okay it sells 
Although, he may have only bought it because he's in a really good mood. Where is Mr. Hat Guy? Okay, come here, Mr. Hat Guy. Oh yeah, he's, he's his happiness is almost maxed out. Yeah, but it's still selling, so I'm gonna leave that. is gonna leave that. Let's change these from the default color I left them at to something more angry colored. That's fun. Red and white, I like it, I like it. And these are good, I'll leave those at the default. This has no buddy in the queue line, does it? Oh, no, some people are still getting in line. They're either intimidated or they don't have, yeah, they can't afford it. Yeah, okay, so it's fine. It's just because we don't have cash machines. Safest park in the country, thank you. Although it is kind of messy, so I'm gonna hire some more staff. Uh, let's see. Did we finish studying that roller coaster yet? Steel Wild Mouse? Okay. That's one roller coaster that would be very difficult to make it particularly long. Just because of the style of roller coaster it is. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Also because it has hairpin turns, we might be able to squeeze it into spaces we normally wouldn't be able to. So I might be able to squeeze a Wild Mouse into all of this madness going on here. But hey, we have money, so I'm going to fill this river. Heck yeah. Cattails in the way, are you kidding me? The cattails shouldn't matter. Just delete the cattails. <laughs> that was extremely expensive. Out of the way, cattails. Okay, that's annoying. Let's get rid of these. Okay. Cattails are gone. I'll build more cattails elsewhere. Look at that. And yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes logical sense to me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> we make our own laws of physics in this in this park. In the comments, let me know, have any of you ever actually filled the water in this park? Because I certainly haven't. This is the first time I've ever done this. Because in the past it was always too expensive, I was focused on other things, but... Oh, this looks so much better now. Look at that. Boop. Oh no! Just wasted $800 for nothing. No! That's another reason I don't do it, is that it's too easy to goof. Tesla coil still hasn't been fixed. Oh, it's because I have one mechanic. <laughs> That's a mistake. Okay, is the engineer working on this? Oh, no, but he's coming up. Okay, so that's about to be solved. And soon we will have ducks because we have water now. I'm excited for the ducks. Oh, these expired. I missed that. Let's restart those get new people to the park. New people with money. Let's advertise Sparky, our newest addition to the park. And I wonder if we can squeeze the last few coins out of people's pockets with some more flat rides. Oh, here's a fun one. So we have bumper cars over there. Let's add this over here. Actually, no, we could probably fit a wild mouse there. No, I don't want to build it over the water. Let's just do it, whatever. That music, though. That conflicts with the merry-go-round music horribly. Although, that is kind of what you get in a classic park. Isn't that glorious? Let's get all of it mingling. All right, I think from this, I think from this perspective, I can hear all the music from the merry-go-round, from the bumper cars, and from the flying saucers. That's hilarious. Uh, let's change this. No, 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 don't close. Change this to three dollars. Hey, look at this guy. He doesn't even have three dollars in his pocket. He's got 90 cents. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Okay, we're working on a shop or a stall, so that's good. Hopefully it'll be a cash machine. 
Ooh, let's build a rotor drop. Actually, no, that's a. Uh, that's gonna take a lot. Well, nah, let's just do it. It's just another way for people to lose all their money. Oh, it's the pre-built from the last scenario. Sweet. Let's use the pre-built. I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> Can I fit it in here somehow? Oh no! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh no! I hit the wrong button. Gosh dang it. Delete those, get my money back. Most of it anyway. Yeah, that's what it was. Trying to rotate it and I accidentally just plopped it down. I could build it if I just move these paths a little bit. See? So let's delete this piece and this piece. Oh, no, I can't. Cut the towers and the roller coasters in the way. But if I delete these, I can. Look at that. Beautiful. Boom. So at the price of $20, as always. I deleted my two for no reason. Okay, that'll attract more people to the park. What else can we build that we haven't yet? Top spin, aka vomit machine. Let's just build it because why not? Berserk mode, aka I call this the stomach blender. And what, what stats do we get for this? With stats like that, I think we can charge $6. Because it's a flat ride. I might be able to charge more, actually, but I... Yeah, it's not worth it to figure it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave that. Well, I'll figure that out later. Um, is anything... No one is on our vertical drop coaster. It's probably because it's... Yep, it's because it's too expensive. So let's change that to... Oops, not 13. No, don't close. Actually, will people pay? 13? Nope. 12? Oh, someone will. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. You know, I'm confused. Does this green arrow indicate uh, your park value is going up, which it can't because it's maxed out, or does it indicate an increase of guests? I've never actually known that. I always assumed it was related to park rating, but it's next to the guest counter, so I guess my assumption doesn't necessarily make sense. What are we studying? Souvenir stall? That's not what we want. How many roller coaster types do we have? Okay, we have enough that I think we can turn off roller coaster research for a while until we have maxed out shops and stalls. Oops. Let's see. We have cash. We can build. Uh, let's see. Here's a fun one. Let's build a flying roller coaster. And we'll build it over the mountains. It'll be a terrain coaster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, I love roller coasters that work inverted like this. So fun to work with. Although I wish I wish I could do that, but I can't. This one piece right here might be a serious problem in, in regards to G-forces, but let's see what it looks like. Oh, that was rough. Okay, let's not do that. Can I do it here, though? Nah, I'm not comfortable with that. What's in the way here? Is it the roller coaster? Yeah, it's the roller coaster. Okay, so we can't do that. Let's dive underground. Woo!
And Cordelief out. So now we are right side up. And it's about to rain. Do we need to build more kiosks? To capitalize on this. Ah, uh, but no one can afford umbrellas anyway. They spent all their money on roller coasters. That's frustrating. Anyway, let us crank up this lift hill speed. And I want to see if this train... Uh... No! I want to see what it looks like underground. If this, uh... If it takes this slope too harshly. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> Oops. Come back. Release the camera. Okay. I am a little worried about that part down there, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's see, just see if we can get away with this as it is. That's weird. Do I have to go down again? There we go. Never mind, I can't do that. That's annoying. Can I do this, though? I cannot. That's also annoying. <laughs> okay, let's try this instead. Okay, so this layout is a little strange, but it's not ugly. Not yet. It could get ugly. <laughs> let's just see what happens here. I wonder if I can dive under this track piece. Let's uh change these. So we're not too close to the ground. Whoops. Actually, photo section before I forget. Okay, we went from 120 to 80. I think that should be okay. So let's go quarter loop. I think actually the photo section would look better there. So let's go up 80 feet as we were before. And I did that wrong. <laughs> Quarter loop. And now we have the photo section. I wonder how many G-forces this causes. Let's not do that, it's probably too fast. I think we can get away with it up here, though. Um, not like that, though. Let's see, what are we running into? Here we go. Now, I was going to block section this, but I actually forgot that I was going to block section it, so I can't now. Darn it! Uh, we'll just have to make a long station. You know, block sectioning it only really has a benefit at the height of the roller coaster because it increases throughput. But later in its life, like this one, I mean, look at it. There's only a handful of people riding it. So, uh, oh well. Missed opportunity, but it's not that big a deal. It won't really affect the longevity of the roller coaster that much. I don't think, at least. For some reason, I can't helix this. That's annoying. But I can uh, do that, though I don't think I should. Let's uh, do it from here. Still too tall. Let's try it now. There we go. <laughs> every time the every time the merry-go-round dies, it cracks me up. It's hilarious. Okay, let's put some brakes on. Do I even get brakes? Oh, it's up here. That's weird. Oh, we have boosters. That's new. I didn't know we had boosters on this roller coaster type. Neat. Let's actually have a few brakes here. It also gives us a little bit more redundant space on the bottom end of this. Now, how many trains do I get if I do that? 
two trains. That's what I need to see. And for some reason, I'm too tall. Hold up. I don't need to go up that tall. I just need to go here. Brakes. 18, 18, 13, 13. And down to ground level. More brakes. Very good. Okay, so I think I maxed out this already. Let's follow train one and just see what happens here. I don't know if I made this long enough, but I'm hoping. I may have to make it longer, though. Woohoo! And now the riders are literally riding on their backs. Which is terrifying. I've done that before. On the Superman ride at Six Flags. One of the Six Flags parks. Woo! I forgot I need to be watching this. Oh my goodness, we exceeded 4 Gs. But that's not too terribly bad. Okay, what's the damage? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, the train the roller coaster is too short. Ah, we need to make this longer. Okay. Um I think we'll leave this as the end segment. But we will add length somehow. We were like 3,400 something, so we're close. We just need to add a bit more. Let's dance over the, the, the riders, the guests. Give them a show, you know. And with that, I think we're good to return to the station. <clears throat> Although I do need to do that. Wait, 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 wait. I could put brakes right here. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Hold on. Um, hmm. Because I have to straighten first. Brakes to 13. But then I have to do this. Okay, we'll just do it like that. Okay, more brakes. And that should give us the length we need. Hopefully. Follow on main view. Fast forward little, I don't want to wait for it. I mean, think of the vanilla game. You can't fast forward in vanilla. Just one of the little quality of life improvements. I mean, the vanilla game was incredible as it was, but compared to Open RCT2, it's, it feels unplayable because I've been so spoiled now by all these little perks you get. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Then down the helixes, back to ground level, brakes. Yeah, that's why I wanted to, that's why I had to bank this. Because if this wasn't banked, that would have been way too many lateral Gs. So let's let, release the camera. And what do we got? Okay, we have the length requirement. Perfect, 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 perfect. That nausea rating though, oh my goodness. Okay. Now we need to come out through here, I think. And not do that. No, let's actually come from here. And have a sketchy boardwalk that looks unsafe. <laughs> a dangerous boardwalk is what it looks like. Oh, perfect, look at that. And with that, we can now stretch this out, connect right there, and do this. Cross the river once, cross the river twice. Ducks, yes! Let me quack you, woo! And not open things I didn't mean to open. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
Lovely. Okay. Well, let's set a price on this bad boy. I'm thinking $16 is probably safe, considering we have a 9 and an 8. We could probably charge 17 but I'm not going to push it. Speaking of pushing it, are people still riding this for $18? Oh, wow, they are. Okay. Let's look at this awful paint job and fix it. I'm thinking pink. We need bold colors on this one. And maybe baby blue trains with white restraints. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's cool. Something I haven't been doing very much is changing the station type. So let's make this a log cabin. Match the theme with everything else. Log cabin. And this one clearly has to be abstract. Same with this one. Look at this. This ride is just reeling in the dough. Although it's not reeling, reeling in less of it though. Do we have the cash machine yet? Yeah, we have sunglasses now. That might actually sell. I don't know if that's affected by weather, but we can at least make a few extra bucks off of this. Boop. And as always, I forget just how much I can charge for these. Let's try $4. Will people fade? Well, oh, no, vandalism. Shoot. No vandalism in my park. Something I did I forgot to do was accessorize this uh, branch out thing we did. So let's do that real quick. Okay. And garbage cans. Isn't this a nostalgia trip? Listen to that. Oh, you did not just do that. Oh, no. I love the little animation for when they vomit. It's hilarious. <laughs> Let's accessorize the pathway that we just built. This one. Put trash cans on the stairs because that makes no sense. And benches as well. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the park so far. It's looking very populated now that we have all these rides taking up all the space. This is what I meant when it's going to be hard to cram 10 huge roller coasters into this park. So we have one, two, three, four out of the 10 that we need. Plus this, uh, this little one, which is just making money for us. Yeah, we're really going to have to utilize this mountain area and start building rides on top of each other. No more ducks. Okay, so... Oh, the merry-go-round just crapped itself. Pizza stall? We don't need pizza? I mean, I need pizza. I'd actually love pizza right now. But... No, I didn't mean to build that. Oh, crap. I was trying to close... I was trying to hit the X button. <laughs> I don't think we have burgers yet. That must be a new thing. Let's put burgers over here. Get your burglars. Get your crowbars and your pry bars. Get your burglars right here. Same price throughout park. And lemonade. Compliment that those burgers. 1.6 40 cents materia costs? What is what the heck? Oh, that's probably accounting for overhead and wages. Never mind. I was going to say, <laughs> if it costs you 40 cents to make a glass of lemonade, what are you, importing the lemons from freaking... I don't know. <laughs> that's expensive. Okay, no, everyone's turning away. I'm running out of cash! It isn't everyone. Okay, that one doesn't have money. Okay, no one thinks it's overpriced. They're all just looking at it and walking away. Let's restart these, as always. And what did we just build? It was a... 
flying roller coasters, which we failed to name. Let's name that real quick. Okay. Dune Hopper. This one is Dusty Dunes. Okay, they're both Dune roller coasters, but whatever. Um, it just occurred to me that if we advertise for free rides in a particular ride, they're still going to have all that money that they can spend on other rides. So let's advertise the Rotodrop. Free rides and Rotodrop. Come spend your money and everything else. Get free burgers, ladies and gentlemen. Come on down and drown. I mean, uh, come on down and enjoy the free burgers. Woo, look at it go. Well, I'm proud of these. These have a really nice layout and they look amazing. Let's look at our next option for building a roller coaster. We, we haven't built an inverted roller coaster yet, so we can definitely do that. We don't have a giga coaster. We have enough money, we could probably build a giga coaster, actually. So let's look at. Okay, so we have pizza now. Let's actually plop that down and sell some pizza. And I want. I'm, I'm hungry for pizza now. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> $3 a slice. That's probably way too much. Yeah, it is too much, but whatever. <laughs> Let's sell drinks right next to it. Oh, they're actually paying for it. Satisfaction unknown. Okay, this has to be someone who bought it a while ago. Are people still saying it's good value? Oh no, there's... Eh, okay. They're buying it. Get quacked, you ducks. Do we know what we are researching? Fast forward. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! I wonder how long it takes to research this if I just leave it on fast forward. Look at our money. Oh my goodness. We're making like just shy of $15,000 a month. Not bad. Cash machine, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Let's just leave this on fast forward until it's done. First of May. April 29, April 30. Boom! We have the cash machine. Woo! And now, to let the money roll. We're about to get rich, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to be rolling in dough. Let's have maybe one more somewhere strategic. I could probably put a tiny flat right in there. Let's put it right here. Yes, indeed. And now, with the coffers un unlocked, we will be rich. So let's build a Giga Coaster to celebrate. Woo! Although I need a, I need a place for a station. There's like nowhere else I can build a station. <laughs> Everything's taken. I have to build it in the air now. Um, shoot. Let's see. I have enough room here I could figure out a queue line. So let's build this way up. Two, three, four. What is this pea colored glass? Hold on. That is a long train. Okay, we will definitely block section this one, so I'm not going to make the train longer. Don't let me forget! Interrupt me as I build and tell me I'm forgetting if I forget. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can't do that. <laughs> You're going to see this long after I record it. Actually, no, today is Wednesday, and I plan to publish this on Friday. So I really, I got, oh, I got to get my button gear and really crank down on working on this. Because editing these, I mean, producing, producing Roller Coaster Tycoon videos is far less work than producing Minecraft videos, like the one that I published a couple days ago. Yesterday, actually. Tuesday. Um, but that's still several hours of footage I have to go through and make sure I didn't burp or something. So... Speaking of which, have any of you seen, uh, have any of you seen that Minecraft video I released? I'm extremely proud of it. It is probably the best video I have ever released. But it's Minecraft, and I know you, that may not be something that interests you, so... If you have seen it, let me know what your thoughts are, anything I can improve. 
Um, it kind of fell flat, didn't perform very well compared to these Roller Coaster Tycoon videos, and I expected that. Minecraft is kind of a hard niche to succeed in because it's so overcrowded with other people's content. Much of it good, much of it less, uh, less good. <laughs> And the only reason I'm doing it is because I'm passionate about Minecraft. I know I probably wasn't going to succeed, but I'm just doing it because I want to. Can I squeeze that? Aha, look at that. First block section. Boop. How tall is this? It goes from 315 to that's not going to make it. Hold on. I have to remember just how much momentum these things lose. Okay. Block breaks. And this roller coaster is not going to be pretty at all. And I'm going to say it right now. It's not meant to be, and nothing I do will make it look good. <laughs> because I'm just trying to fit it into the park over these other rides. As I said, we're building rides on top of each other at this point. So you've gone from 135, no, 235 to 195. So it's a 40 foot difference, this should be good. Can I get down to the ground here? Nope. I can get close though, that's fine. I lost my train of thought, I was talking about Minecraft and then went on a tangent about why I produce the videos even though I know it's not going to do well. The point is... These videos are easier to edit, but it's still several hours of footage I have to comb through to make sure I didn't stick my foot in my mouth or say something stupid. And I have to have all of that done basically today or tomorrow, because not only do I have to upload it to YouTube, but YouTube has to process it and uh, re-encode it to high definition, which takes several hours. So I could probably do that overnight, but I have to... Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Ooh, I wonder if I could go through that. Hold on, hold on. Photo section. Can I go through the helix? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Oh no, but now we're, ew, what a mess. Hold on, where's my handyman? I think he was in a queue line. Clean that up, that's nasty. Could I do, no, I cannot. Well, I want to do that. So can I make this work somehow? Oh, look at that. I can. Well, this is an easy problem to fix. Close that. Break it. Turn it around. Put it back. And make this path go this way. Boom. Problem solved. Although, no, maybe it's not solved because now we're right on the edge of the park. <laughs> Darn it. I can't do that. It would have been so cool, though. Oh, wait. I can do it. I just have to do it differently. Think outside the box, people. Woo! <laughs> All right. I have a feeling that this is going to be much longer than it needs to be. So let's, instead of messing around, let's just bring this back to the station. Let's bring her back to the station and see what the damage is. Look at this mess. <laughs> it doesn't even look remotely good. And the, the good roller coasters that were under it are now wonky because of all these... Oh my gosh. It looks terrible now. Maybe I should just get my thumbnail screenshot now before it's too late. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that. You'll get, you'll get the full ugliness of the park in all of its glory for the screenshot. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we're riding alongside the station. So let's go up, like so. Oh, I forgot I was going to block section this ride. Hold on. Delete all this. Delete all this. So we have a block section. One drop. Two drop. Spiral uh, spiral around like crazy. Yeah, we need a block section here. 
Let's see, we started at, how high was this? 235. Let's go to 160. And we found the edge of our park. That's not good. I want to see what the train does. Oh no, I just remembered I can't because of the cable lift hill. Darn it! Okay, well, block brakes! Uh oh, that's the edge of the park. Ah, uh, S band. Heh <laughs> heh! That still doesn't work. No! Let's just do this. And this park is so chaotic. Listen to it. This is actually kind of kind of starting to bug me. So I'm going to turn that off. Ah, oh, I can breathe again. There's just so much going on in this park. Oh my goodness. Doth my eyes deceive me or does this line up perfectly? It does not. Darn it. Okay. But this does, but I don't think I can do that safely without breaking someone's neck. So let's uh, put brakes on, several brakes to catch the, never mind, that's the edge of the park. <laughs> we have to do this. Brakes. And down to level. Do I have room for an S-Bend? Oh, I barely do. But I don't have, oh, I don't have room for a block break. Unless I do this. Here we go. Now we're talking. Break, break, break. S band, block break. Let's actually put a block break here so we catch the train, so it stops the train, so it doesn't smash into. Actually, no, if it's going too fast, that's not going to work. Never mind. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Test. How many trains do we have? Four? No, that's not safe. Three. I don't trust this ride. This is sketchy. Now I have to wait on the cable lift hill to come down and grab it. There it is. It's coming. And up we go. Look, we have more money than we started with when we started building this. I think it's because of the cash machines. Let's watch our vertical G's because those are what I'm worried about for this raid. Not bad. Block break slows us but doesn't stop us. That's a good sign. Woo! Airtime. More airtime. And then through the helixes. How bad are those lad LGs? Okay, we, it's more than two, but it's not horrible. And now we're stopped. That's not good. Woo! Uh oh. Oh no, that's a big uh oh. That could be a mega collision. If, if something gets backed up. Hold on, let me see. Let me go. There's, okay, there's a block section here, so we, we won't have a crash, I don't think. So we should be fine. Stats, please. Okay, we're long enough, that's good. And the stats are high enough, perfect. Another perk of OpenRCT2 is you can do this, mix up the paths. Normally, this would be restricted to only the red path type. Okay, I'm just gonna mess with this. There we go. What are these stats? Okay, let's charge 17 for this bad boy. Although people may not pay that. 
Oh no, they'll pay it. Look at that. Oh. What did I just charge for? I'm nervous now. I think I just messed something up. What what did I just change the price of? Is it this? I changed the price of something. Unless I closed it by mistake before actually hitting maybe I hit cancel instead of okay. Okay, so 17 seems to be good. Oh wow. Woo! 65,000 per hour. That's what the that's what these cash stations did for us. Now everyone has money to spend. <laughs> Look at our money just going up. As I said, it's all uphill from here. Yeah, this is this is great. What about this ride? Is this doing anything? Oh no, it's too expensive now. People aren't going to ride it. Let's try 1350. There we go. People are riding now. And this one Okay, it just broke down. Okay, he's about to fix it. That's good. Oh my goodness. What a mess. I think we need more handyman. Which we can afford. Oh yeah. But first, let's uh, do some micromanaging here. Clean up this disaster. I don't see any vandalism yet, so I think we're okay. Anyway, is there anything that's not ha getting any riders? Sparky has zero people on it. And zero per hour, that means it's too expensive, so let's knock this down a bit. Let's try $13. Anyone want to ride Sparky? Good old classic Sparky. Okay. Money! Money! Okay, our marketing campaign just finished. So, let's launch some new ones. Bring everyone to the park. Let's see, this was a Giga Coaster. Where's Giga Coaster 1? There it is. And free food. Come get your free pizzas, ladies and gentlemen. And free rides on the Ferris Go Wheel. Ferris Go Wheel. <laughs> Merry-go-round. What am I saying? The Ferris wheel of merry-go-round. I mixed that up in my head. <laughs> Why do, what's a Ferris go wheel? That is vandalism if I ever saw it. Let's fix that. Now let's see if he's an active vandal. Oh, yeah, he's he's hangry. <laughs> let's see, where is he? Yeah, he might be... Uh-oh, there goes the merry-go-round again. Yeah, I don't see the vandals, so we'll just have to let him calm down in his own. I think with all the extra handymen we hired, that won't be a problem anymore. So... Oh, I forgot! Now that we have the cash machine, we can turn everything else back on. So roller coasters, turn that back on. And water rides, I don't want that. Scenery and theming, we can do. We can leave that on. Actually, gentle rides. Let's just leave everything on. Cotton candy, yum. Put that at the entrance. Boop. Well, people actually pay that much for it. No one has purchased it yet, but no one has objected to the price yet either. Okay, I'm gonna let that simmer for a bit. Uh, what else can we build? Let's build... Oh yeah, we were gonna do an inverted coaster, weren't we? Let's build an inverted coaster. I'm going to close this. Where do we build an inverted coaster? Uh, let's make it a there and back coaster and we'll have it wrap around these guys and come over here, do some fancy, maybe some inversions, and then work its way back. And hopefully that'll be long enough to meet the requirement. So let's plop that down right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many piece, how many trains is that? That's just one train. Or no, that's two trains. Okay. Wonderful. I think I can block section this. And if I finish a lift hill here... Okay. So that's from 30 to 110. So that's a 80 foot difference. So let's make this one 70 feet because we have this slight delay here. 110 to... Never mind. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's, not, that's outside the park. Darn it. 
Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm desperate at this point. This is just gonna look funny. <laughs> 170. Okay, that's a 60 foot difference, but that's fine. Can I do that? No, I can't. Okay. Now I can do it. Large loop right! Woo! 175 to 125, so that's gonna power through that loop super hard. Oh wow, that went through there really fast. Oh, we have a water coaster. That's awful. I don't need a water roller coaster. Those are terrible. Horrible stats. They don't even look that good. I feel like water coasters are more for theming than for actual applications, because they're just not very good. Let's see, can I do another loop here? This one was 125. Yeah, I think I can do it. Let's do another one, actually. Because all of this contributes to the length of the track without making it excessively big footprint-wise. So, that's good. How tall is this? Let's make this a little bit shorter. 110 instead of 125. And dive underground. Okay. I just remembered I was going to block section it, and once again, I forgot. Okay, where can I potentially put one in? I can put one over here. So let's delete all this. And bring... We'll, we'll put the loops back. We just got to do this first. Now, do I have enough momentum to go up another stage? How tall is this? That's 145. 170 to 145. So we lose... What is that? 25? 35 feet difference. Perhaps if I do, if I dip it, that'll catch the train and pull it the rest of the way through. I do not get boosters on this track type, so that's too bad. Oh, it just barely makes it through. I am not comfortable with that. Not in the slightest. Let's do this instead. <laughs> that's sketchy. All right. Make this wider, add block brakes, and go back to pack continuous circuit mode. Okay, 125 to... If I put two loops in sequence, they have to start a little bit. Oops, not that. That's dangerous. Let's see, can I do this? No, I cannot. Oh, no. So I have to go lower. Uh-oh. I was afraid that would happen. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Two trains. If it happens again, it goes down to one train. <laughs> That's not good. Took a chunk out of a park rating. Uh, anyway. <laughs> That's never good. Actually, what we could do is do the half loop thing. Perhaps. But the ground is in the way. What part of the ground is in the way, though? Is it this? Maybe this one? No. There we go. So from 125 to 110, that should be good. Corkscrew out of it. Let's put a photo section here, just for kicks. Man, that's hauling through these hills. That's gonna... <laughs> I hope the intensity rating isn't too high on this.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, times two. Can't do that. And I can't do that. Maybe I can helix these up. Let's helix these up. Just waste track. <laughs> okay, we're running into the this one, Dune Hopper. Maybe. That doesn't work. Here we go. Now what am I hitting? Dune Hopper again. Okay. Oh, fun. Okay, so now I think with all these helixes we added, we should have a long enough track that we can successfully uh, snap. Hold on. <laughs> We're running into that again. Um, perfect. And I forgot this is supposed to be block sectioned. Block section through here. We can put a block section here, actually. I think this should be slowed down enough that we can not do that, apparently. Hold on. Uh. Okay, so now that's connected, in the theory, we could, we could put a, a block break there, but only if the train makes it to that point without being too fast. Eh, it's a little fast, but that's okay. Let's put a tire drive right there. <laughs> so he gets out of this out of the block section as fast as we can make it go. Uh hold on. Continuous circuit mode, please. Boop. Keep on testing. And with that, we should be able to bring this back oops to the station. Put a block break right here. And we need brakes before that though. To slow it down. So let's uh and let's lengthen this just slightly. Brakes to 13. Okay. Now I think we're set. Let's test this. Train one, follow this on main view. Okay, it paused at that, at that lift hill because of the block sections. Hold on. Five trains? No, 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 no. Let's make that four trains. Yes. Do we pause? I don't think I ever changed this. Oh, I forgot to change it. No, no, we have to start over again. <laughs> Much better. No pause, it just rolls through, that's good. And no pause there either. Perfect. Alright. Woo! Through the first loop. Pulling a whopping 4.2 G's or so. That block break caught us but didn't stop us, that's good. That was a little rough, that lateral turn. But it might not be too rough. Let's just see what happens if we let this finish. That was rough too. I gotta bank that. Or I can just make it go make it go up a hill before it turns. I don't know, let's see what we did. Okay, it's long enough, but yeah, that's that's too rough. So let's uh let me go. There's a few things we need to change on this. This one, I don't know if we can. Hold up, close. I don't have room for that. Hold on, let's loop the other direction. 
Let's loop right. Now we have plenty of room. Oops. Corkscrew right. Bank. There we go. So that solves that particular spot. And now for this spot, which looked rough, let's uh, break this. Bring it up a little bit taller. Put the block section here. I forgot I meant to do tire drive. Tire drive. And block section. Perfect. And that, I think, should fix the problem. So let's try that one more time. Train one, follows the main view. Woo! 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 <laughs> okay. Nothing in red. Nothing in red, please, and thank you. All right. Okay, we've eliminated the uh, excessive G-forces. Oh, perfect! And the ride is long enough. Beautiful. Okay, well, let's open this one up for business. And change this to that. Oh look, it's like the perfect length. But I don't want to do that. Let's switch back. There we go. And this one can just go straight down and connect. Assuming there isn't a... Yeah, there's a wall in the way. Let's remove that. I can't see it though. Where is it? Um, there we go. Perfect. So now that's connected. Open for business. And it just occurred to me, I forgot to put a photo section anywhere on this ride. Oh, uh, we can put it there. The tire drive actually is serving no purpose. <laughs> There's not doing anything. Because the train's too short, it's not actually touching it there. Photo section! Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We need four more giant roller coasters to beat the scenario, so... We're on the home straight. Home stretch? Home straight? How do you say that? I don't know. Let's paint this. Something to contrast with this pink. Let's make this orange. With blue supports. Well, now it just looks like a bazillion other B&M roller coasters. Uh, how about, uh, pfft, white? No. I'll think on that. We'll figure that out later. Although, what is this train color? What? Maroon? That's terrible. Yeah, red's better. Look at the money. Look how much money we're making. Holy smoke. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that cash machine really saved us. Now, what else do we have to work with here? We, I remember we got the water coaster was the recent one. We got pagoda theming. Uh, that's not the theming we're planning to work with here. Um, oh, I'm getting tired. Whew. I wonder if we can make a stupidly long t uh, wild mouse. Maybe, I mean... Now let's just do a vertical drop coaster. So let's retire this one. Did I ever save this? Oh yeah, I was going to name it first. Uh, super duper double looper. Oh no, cat's lock's on. Super duper double looper. <laughs> and save with scenery. Let's select the path. Although I don't like the... Uh, hold on. Let's change the path first. To something more respectable. There we go. More universal. Not the rustic looking one. And give it brown paths. There we go. I feel better about that. Save it. With scenery. And I keep double clicking by mistake. Save. New file. Perfect. Now that that's done, retirement. <laughs> Look at these sorry, confused people. 
Oh, someone vomited into the queue line. That's not common. Come on. There we go. Except that one person just got lost. Okay, I'll leave these poor, so poor souls to find their way back to the path. Let's build an enormous vertical drop coaster. Do we have any that are pre-built the length we want? No, we don't. Okay. So for a big monstrous roller coaster like this, we want to have several trains. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. That's three trains, four trains. I don't know how many trains is that. Four still. Five trains? Ho ho! Five trains! Woohoo! Look at these poor souls. Get back on the path. Checks his map when he could just look over and see that the path's right there. Oh no! We're gonna hit the roto drop. Although, I can move the roto drop now. You know what? This will be easier if I just, del just demolish it. Demolish! And get rid of the path. Let's rebuild it. Just one to run. Oh! Rebuild it. Just slightly moved over. Perfect. $20 as always. Okay, back to this one. What does the holding break for drop thing do? What is the purpose of that? I imagine in real life it adds a bit of thrill because it adds to the suspense of the drop, but I have no—I don't know if it has any bearing on the actual performance of a roller coaster in this game. So let me know in the comments. Does that actually do anything? Because I have no idea. Photo section, get your faces right before you drop. Woo! Woohoo! Actually, that might not be a good spot for that because I still have to build a path here. And we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Let's say that was 180 to 165. I might not actually make that. That's a 15 foot difference and these trains are so small they don't retain their, their momentum very well. Although I forgot, there's actually this little spot that gives it momentum, so this should be fine. Woo! It just just breezes over the over that hill. Let's not run into the swinging inverter ship. One thirty to one forty, and woo! Drop. Let's add some mega inversions. Uh, not like that. Actually, is that going to take that loop too fast? I have a feeling that's going to be way too rough. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I want to see how nasty this is. Woo! Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a little fast, but that's okay. Let's adjust our path here. Sorry, fellas. No! Come back! Where, where are you going? <laughs> Get back on... Ugh. That's like herding sheep. I like how they, when they look at a ride, they don't just stand there. They stand at attention with their arms at their sides. And they're so stiff. They're like, whoa, what is that ride? Do I get quarter loops? Oh, no, I don't. That's too bad. Do I have enough speed to do this? Let's see. That was 140 to 115. That should be just fine. And the road jumps in the way. Darn it. Okay. Can't do that. Can we go up to 135 from 140? I think not. Let's do this. 130! That's a gnarly hill. <laughs> Good heavens. Let's see, where's the train at? Oh, it's over there. Oops, I forgot to close. Fuzz W. Fuzzy Wizzy. That's, that's, that's his name now. Up we go. 
crest that hill just barely. Through that loop like a madman. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Let's actually add a bit of vertical... Uh, a bit to the vertical dimension on this one. So we don't stall at the next little airtime pop here. Okay, now we're really screwing with the amount of space we have to work with, with the, for the path. Let's actually sort the path out before it's too late. <laughs> before I ruin it any more than I already have. Okay, let's, uh, let's try, I don't know, red. I don't think we've done red yet. Okay, that works. Okay, so the path is sorted. I feel better now. <laughs> oh no! What am I running into? Oh, I'm running into myself. Where? I can't see. Which track piece am I hitting? Is it this one? Okay, let's do... Let's go vertical. And I'm still on the way. Okay... It looks like we'll have to turn out of this, like so. Up to 100, that should be just dandy, because we have 115, 105. Oh, no, actually no, I don't, <laughs> we'll probably stall. Let's, uh, I wanna see what'll happen here. Oh, perfect. No stalling. Lovely. I wonder if we can sneak another large loop here and if it'll actually make it through the loop because the loop is taller and the roller coaster is slower, but we just went from 100 to 90. No, 105 to 90. So I think we will actually. Although the helixes are in the way. Oh, look at that. So we have so we have this loop here that's just stupidly fast. And then we have a, a taller loop that's slower, but okay. I think that'll work. Can I do this? I can. Look at that. And S bend. I can! Oh, yes! How many lateral Gs is that S bent, though? <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna see if I return this to the station, if we are long enough to meet the requirements. So let's put some brakes right here. Just slow down to 18. Give a little bit of space. And back to the station. Brakes to 13. Let's actually change this last one here to 13 as well. Wait, were they all 13? Oh no, the first two were 18, 18. Okay, that's good. So, let's test this monstrosity. And look at the tiny footprint we crammed this into. That's because we get these really compact pieces like these. Oh, I love this roller coaster. All right, let's paint it. What should we paint? We don't have any solid red roller coasters, do we? Does red and black work, or would it be better if I gave it colored supports? Okay, that's too Christmassy. Oh, white might work, but that's overdone, I think. Vertical G's, let's see what this loop does to us. Oh, look at that! The whole duration of the loop didn't even exceed 4 Gs. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, the airtime over these little hills is crazy. Woo! <laughs> and then just ease through that loop. How? Oh my goodness! That is a jarring S-Bend. Holy smoke. 
Uh, we may have to change this a lot. Hold on. Let's just see if we can get away with it first. Nothing in, nothing's in red. Oh, we got away with it. Woo! <laughs> I don't th in real life, that would not fly at all. <laughs> this is insane. Let's charge $18 for this mad, mad dragon. I'm going to name it that, mad dragon. Oh, no. Oops, I, I killed the music. Mad dragon. And people are willing to pay. Look at that. Okay, it looks like this ride can no longer sustain this extreme price. So let's bump it down. There we go. Restored. I never actually checked if this was long enough, but it is. Perfect. Okay. So now, what has nothing on it? Okay, that's fine. Magic carpet. It's probably too expensive. Yeah, that's way too expensive. Two dollars. Cut that in half. We had a breakdown. That's too bad. Um, Giga Coaster has nobody on it. Probably because of the price. Fifteen for you. It may also be because people think it's not safe. Although someone's getting in line, so that's fine. Magic Carpet. Sparky. What's the deal with Sparky? I'm not paying that much. Okay, I'll give you that. The stats aren't the greatest. Let's just go with $10. Sparky's the cheap, super rough roller coaster for the braver folks who have a fondness for the oldies in the park. Because <laughs> it is a corkscrew. That's I don't think these are built anymore. This is built the the game is designed this to resemble a roller coaster type that is no longer manufactured. As far as I'm aware. Correct me in the comments, because I could be completely wrong on that, but ooh! Look at all this money we get. Woohoo! Alright, what's next? What are we studying? Inverted hairpin coaster? Okay. Oh, we just got it. What's next? So we have... We have... We have a inverted coaster. We have a flying coaster. A twister. A giga. A woody. A woody. And where is it? The vertical drop coaster. Actually, how many is that? That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just need three more, unless I'm totally miscounting. Make fun of me in the comments if I miscounted. You have my permission. Oh, we can do this one. Let's build it over here. Build it just a little ways off the ground, not too crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, this is a long train. Oh my goodness. Do I get two trains yet? And it looks like I go over the Giga. That's good. I was worried that the Giga would be in the way. How tall can this go? That tall. Okay. Probably not that tall, actually, because the hill is helping us. Do we get a photo section of this? We do not. That's too bad. Okay, well. Let's uh, shake up our rider's lunch a little bit. <laughs> the head spend section for no reason. <laughs> and with that, to steep, level out, and we'll have a proper drop. And that kind of rhymes, but not really. Man, these, ro these trains are so funny looking. And I think we want to block section this. Oh, no, 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 we, no, we don't. I forgot. I made two trains for a reason. <laughs> Let's not block section it. We'll just go, just go all ham on this. Make this big and crazy. Can we get back up to 80 feet, 85 feet, though? We struggled on this one, but that's 20 feet taller than this, so this should be fine. Let's see. Uh, do we get wide? No, the slide is in the way. Are people actually riding the slide? How much money is this making? Yeah, that's respectable. 900 per hour. That's fine. Hmm. 
Look at that. We just discreetly went through there. But I think the lift hill is in the... No, it's not. Perfect. That's great. All right. Okay, the Giga Coaster's in the way, so we can't do that. I guess we'll just have some little hoppity, hippity hoppity hills here. Helix down. Helix down the other way. And no, oh, it's in the way. Where am I? Ah, I can't see what I'm doing. This color blends too much with everything. Let's make this. What have we not used? Why am I stuck? Oh, okay. That was weird. It's like I couldn't I couldn't move the screen around. We don't have anything purple yet. We just have pink. So we'll make this one purple. And uh, yellow supports. Not gold supports. But that blends with the Giga too much. Let's just do light. But now it blends. Yeah, no, no, screw it. Everything blends with everything. There's too many roller coasters and, and they're too big. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. Um... It looks like I shouldn't go that way. Let's, uh... Let's just do a little serpentine snakey thing. Just shake up the lunches of everyone riding the ride. Oh, look. We're level with, we're with the station now. I don't think this is long enough, though. So let's uh, take this out of here. And just try to get more length out of this. I'm not even putting a dent on my money. Good grief. We're so rich. Can I go under this? Oh, I can't. Darn it. Look how crowded this is. Oh my goodness. Everything about this roller coaster is a mess. <laughs> I think we can't go that way. We have to turn the same direction we were going before. Get some wide turns. Squeeze as much length out of this as we can, and I have to delete that. Now can I do it? No, I can't. Okay. Maybe this? Or no, no, no. Helix down. That'll give the riders of the flying saucers a scare, is having a roller coaster flying over their heads. Okay, let's put brakes on here. Right here to 13. I have a shot. And more brakes. Man, this thing is enormous. Holy smoke. Let's test it out after I turn that up. Okay. Train one. Follow this on main view and normal speed. Now, what'll kill us in this one is lateral G's. Because you can't bank your turns. The, tra the trains swing, but there's limitations as to how much that... Um, how much that prevents the lateral G's, so... So far, we're looking okay. Although, I, th I feel like we're pushing it a little bit. I mean, look at this. Does that look comfortable to ride at all? It's just out of control. <laughs> Okay. Uh-oh, what was that? Where was that bit of... Oh, that was that piece right there. Okay. Let's see if we get away with it. Can we get away with it? Stats, please. Nope, we cannot. How's the length? Are we long enough? No, we're not long enough. Oh, no. Well, no matter. We'll just uh, delete this and keep using up all of that stored up energy. Although I have a feeling that the rating isn't bad just because of how long it is, or how rough that turn was. I have a feeling it has to do with how rough we made this thing. Like the S-Band section <laughs> for no reason, and these helixes. And look at this. That's just gnarly. Let's see, up left, up right. And I was afraid of that. Okay. Uh, 
And now can I reconnect? I cannot. Okay. What am I in the way of? Is it this piece? I think I need to go down first. But now I'm encroaching on Sparky. Now this is annoying. How do I how do I do this? <laughs> Maybe I should just uh go on vacation a little bit. We're going on vacation. We're going over here. I don't fit. Giga coaster one in the way. How so? What part? This part? Maybe if I make this a little sharper. Is it still in the way? Nope, we can go through. No, I can't do that. I'm just adding length to it at this point. I'm not even trying to make it better. Okay, let's bring you down to 30. I shouldn't have done that. Let's bring it back up so we go over. No, we can't do that. Um, how about this? Okay, so I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Now we're out. Let's see, how, how am I lined up here? That goes to there. Yeah, I'm not lined up at all. So let's go down. I can't do that. Let's, let's stay straight. Now go down. Okay. I have a feeling this was not enough to fix our length problem. But let's see if that fixed the intensity problem. Okay, so far so good. This helix section is still a little bit rough. Not quite exceeding two lateral G's though. That was quite a... Oh my goodness, that was a lot of lateral... Oh, that spot's too intense. Hold on, hold on. Let me go. Okay. Let's break these, and S-Band this, and Giga Coaster's in the way. No! Oh, it looks like I have to do it like that. You know what? I have an idea. Let's make this wide by doing that. Yes, indeed. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot, troubleshoot. That's my new motto. Imagine riding a roller coaster like that. <laughs> there we go. Much safer. Much gentler. More gentle. Gentler. I don't know. If one of those isn't a word. Oh, we did fix the length problem. We fixed both problems. Yes. Okay. Well... Two more to go! <laughs> Let's build this. Ah! The station! I'm so tired. This scenario is killing me. Alright, back down to the ground. Let's set this to, look at these stats, oh my goodness. 15, the safe number. Boop. Open for business. Okay. Now what do we have to work with? Oh, hyper coaster, nice. That's a very fun to build roller coaster, very aesthetic. But it's painful though, because the block sections take forever, because there's no boosters on this roller coaster, just lift hills. Where can we put the station for this? We are so crowded, oh my goodness. I know I'm playing with fire if I do this, it's going to be really hard to get back to the station. Let's go over here to the entrance. 
and perhaps delete some flat rides. Yeah, it has to be done. Sorry, folks. I need this room to work. Come on, guys, get out. Okay, they'll find their way eventually. Um, and we no longer need this roundabout thing. So let's delete that. Hold on, this might be easier if I do it like this. No entry! Get out! Same with you people. And with that, we can do this. Staff, what are you doing? Get out of there. Okay, something broke down. Looks like he's on it. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Delete that sign and delete this sign. Lovely, now we have a space to work with and a bunch of Lost Boys. Where's Peter Pan, Lost Boys? I need to go to the bathroom. Here you go. Now pay 30 cents. <laughs> oh, there's more. I missed one. Oliver N. Okay. Hypercoaster. Let's line this up so we're not going to caught up on anything. Which I think means we have to make the lift hill go that way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Oh gosh. Darn it. Although we could cheat a little bit and do that. Haha. <laughs> little hacks like that. It looks terrible, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. How tall is this? 160. We're approaching the edge of the park. Let's go up to at least 200 so we actually qualify to call this a hyper coaster. Uh oh. We have to do this the other way. Everything's in the way. <laughs> I wonder what the minimum drop height is for this roller coaster. I guess we'll find out. Although, I probably shouldn't do that. I should do a... There we go. What I had uh, is going too fast. That would be too many positive Gs, and that could uh, screw up the ratings. So we started at 220... So this should be just fine. And this will ensure we get our minimum drop height requirement and a dragon's in the way. Darn it. The dragon. The dragon is in the way. Now can we do that hill twice? I have a feeling that we can't. Let's uh... First of all, speed up this horrible lift hill speed. There we go. Will it make it? Woo! Just fine. Look at that. And into the block section. Perfect. Block breaks. And does this get boosters? I don't think this right gets boosters. Were boosters added? Nah. Just tire drive. How sad. <laughs> um, let's switch this back to continuous circuit mode. And... Reset our little ghost test mode. Oh no! The dragon's in the way. Again. No! <laughs> Maybe if I do it like this. No! And now the edge of the park is in the way. Oh, look at that. That was 175 to 150, no, 160? 140. 
What if I do this? 155. So it's a 20 foot difference. So hopefully, hopefully those helixes don't chew up all of our momentum. Oh, perfect, just crawls in. All right, let's add our tire drive, as always. Not chains, they're tires. Block brakes. And switch this back to continuous circ mode. Okay. It's This is so tedious. You always have to reset it every time you add a block break. Oh my goodness, I really just went through there without a problem. Without a hitch. This is so messy and I still managed to get through. <laughs> but now the dune hopper's in the way. What am I in? Oh, what's that thing? Uh, <laughs> what am I running into? Oh, there we go. Let's see, 155 to 110, that's fine. Now what am I hitting? Oh, nothing. Uh, yes, something. Ah! This is, this is annoying. Come on. Let's do it! Can I do this? I cannot. There's go-karts in the way. And the ground. Yeah, the ground is important, isn't it? I think I'm going insane. This park, man. Oh my gosh. And that music that never stops. It's killing my brain cells. Okay, let's not do that. Let's do something else. Let's uh, go up a little bit instead. Can I do this? No, I can't. That's too bad. Sparky is in the way. Oh, right there. I see. Okay. Actually, oh yeah, we do have a block section. Okay, so that was at 155. So from 155 to that, it doesn't work. Let's add a piece there so we go around ourselves. One fifty five to one thirty five, that should be just fine. And now we're gonna roar past the station. And now we have a block break here. Although I have a doubt, I don't think it's gonna make it. If it just barely makes it over that hill, it's not gonna make it. Watch. Oh, I stand corrected. It made it just fine. Perfect. So block brakes. Tire drive. Also, putting chains, or no, tires. Putting tire drive here also ensures that it won't stall if the front of the train gets to, let's actually move it back for that same reason. Okay. We've probably met our length requirements, so at this point I'm just wasting time. Let's bring this back to the... Never mind, there's a dragon in the way. A red dragon. A mad dragon. Oh, this'll be fun. If the guests have to walk over the roller coaster. Hold on, let's slow this down. So 18, 18. And delete these paths. Sorry, fellas. More brakes. And finish it off with block brakes. And this might be a collision zone, so instead of doing what we did, let's break these. Slow this down to 13. Now come down with a more gentle slope. Or no, that doesn't make sense. We'll just make this one 13. Yeah, I think that I think that's it. This will work. So let's save space. We'll put our queue line over here and the exit right there. And I think we're ready. 
First, let's change that to four trains. And test. Train one, follow in main view. Let's watch the vertical Gs to make sure we don't kill the guests anywhere. Look at this janky lift hill. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Woo! And down the first drop. The first neutered drop because it's half a drop. Woo! Perfect so far. Very good. Okay, that was a little short for a block section. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I did that. But whatever. As long as it as long as it functions. At this point I just wanna I just need to wrap up this park. Come on. Very nice. And now it's stopped. So we're being held up somewhere. It's probably this guy. Yeah, it's that one. But that's fine. Actually, I like that because this is going to be filling up with guests. And as soon as it moves out, this one's going to move in. As long as this doesn't take too long filling up with guests. So if he's not being... Ah, so he's being held up by the lift hill. And that's to be expected. So I like that. That's fine. Let's add our... Our uh, Q line to our massive monster. Oh no! That wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> what it? There we go. Stats, please. 5,000 feet long. We overdid ourselves. Woo! And respectable stats. Very nice. Okay then, well, I forgot to add a photo section. Darn it. We can put it right there. Get the looks of relief as the people slow down for just a second. And uh, I think I can charge 16 for this monstrosity and open. Let's paint it. You know what? Let's just make this look like a typical Six Flags B&M coaster, whatever. We need more orange in the park. Look at this mess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Actually, it just occurred to me. I don't know. I think on a few of these, I may have looked at the stats, and I, I, there may have been one in the sixes, and I may have mistakenly thought it was good because I got this scenario confused with Infernal Views. Where Infernal Views, the requirement is to have a, an excitement of six, but this park is to have seven. Uh, quack you. Let me do a quick inventory of my rides. Oh no, Sparky is not good enough. It needs to be a seven. Okay. We need to do something to Sparky to make it more exciting. And I know just the thing. All of these pointless, redundant, hoppity spots. Look at all this wasted track. We could get more... Hills. No! We can't do it. No! Maybe here. And now we have to hope and pray there isn't a breakdown. Because <laughs> if there is, we'll have a nasty collision. Let's see how this improved it. Oh my gosh, look how much money we have! Woo! Quarter of a million. Oh, heck yeah. Why am I not getting stats? Oh my goodness. What did we do? What did we just change? Oh, I forgot. It's because it comes in way too hot. Yeah, that's right. It has to slow down for this part. Okay. But we can put the brakes over here. Yes. So let's innovate a little bit and put these brakes here. Ha <laughs> ha. Outsmart it! Now let's see what happens. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit. This this, this this scenario is too long. Oh my goodness. Okay, stats please. That's still too rough.
What? Are these brakes failing to slow it down? Or is 22 miles an hour still too fast? Okay, so this leads to that spot, so let's just see what happens here. Yeah, it's right there, so we have to slow our brakes down. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. So we'll change these to 18 miles per hour, and I just deleted that for no reason. I could have just changed them like this. Or were those boosters by mistake? Those could have been boosters. That might have been what I did. Regardless, let's just see what happens now with 18 mile per hour brakes. Because I really don't want to tear this down and build an entirely new roller coaster. I'd much rather this just works. Okay, not in the red anymore. Oh, we're so close. I think we can fix it with scenery. So let's do that. Let's get something. Palm trees. Just spam palm trees everywhere. And mine shaft, which doesn't fit. Little mini house. Wagon wheels, junk, and more palm trees, taller ones. This will actually help everything else in the park, I think, too. You know what? It just occurred to me, with money like this, we can change the terrain. We could totally change it. So let's do that, actually. Okay, first, we're, we're so close. We're so close. Let's just add some more scenery. I have an idea for the name of this video. Turning a ghost town into a tropical paradise. So let's add palm trees everywhere. <laughs> just make all of the roller coasters better. Okay, let's uh, let's open this again, just so we keep tabs on the- Oh, yeah, we fixed it. Perfect. Okay. Now to turn this place into a tropical paradise. Let's uh, make this- Make our brush a little bit bigger and select this. Oh my goodness, that was $18,000. And I hardly put a dent in our cash. Woohoohoo! I'm just gonna do this with that reservation. Oh, this is amazing. Woohoo! Oh, ho, ho. look at us go. And I just wrecked my cash, but man, I still have plenty of money to win. Doesn't this look so much better? Let's get the few spots I missed. Green is just such a, such a more attractive color. Oh, we missed a spot. Oh well, let's actually let's actually make the the beaches around the river uh, sandy. So we'll leave these sand. Oh, sand is a different color. Oh, what was it before? Oh, it was this. It was just dirt. I always assumed it was sand. You know what? Sand actually does look better than whatever that color was. Anyway. We have our sandy beaches around our river. Beautiful. What a ma what a transformation. Oh my gosh. I, I don't want to sound tacky, but I'm proud of myself. <laughs> this is great. All right, one more roller coaster and we win. What should it be? I'm thinking, I don't want to do a hyper coaster. We could do a looper. Let's do a looping roller coaster and have it kind of messing around it in the hills over here. But where do I put it though? There's no room anywhere. Ah, here's a spot. We may have to delete our escape hatch though. So let's take this out and delete the paths. Okay. Let's bring it back. Looper, where'd you go? Here we go. Looping roller coaster. And we're gonna we're gonna line it up here so we have plenty of space to reconnect to the station. Let's build it up. 
just a little bit. Let's see how tall is this? 20 feet up? Okay. It looks like I can't push it too far because this I'm about to run into the border of the park here. Okay. Lift hill. Can't do that. Let's do the cheeky trick again. Now we just have to get through somehow. Oh no! I did not just successfully do that. <laughs> I got all the way through there. Nice! So 100 to 70, that should be fine. And we are crashing into the track again, darn it. Okay, where am I? Oh, there I am. I'm about to hit the path. Um. Oh, look at that. I can go right through there. From 100 to 80, I'm not liking my chances. Let's not do that. To 60, that's better. You know, something I've not been utilizing enough is all the space that I have underground. So let's actually delete all of this and we're gonna build this underground because we have plenty of space to do this underground. And it can be as ugly as we want because no one has to see it. <laughs> so we'll leave this space over here is how we're gonna build the paths to get down to it. So let's go down. And it has to be deep enough that the station can be built because the entrance is pretty tall, as you know. So let's go invisible. Supports, invisible rides, see-through rides. Oh, that doesn't help us at all. Let's see. I can't see what we're doing at all. <laughs> okay, how many trains is this? That's one train. Oops. And two trains. Yeah, that's two trains, okay. Okay, that's too low, so we're going to build a lift hill underground. That's janky as heck. It looks like we do have to come out, though, so let's uh do this and this. Dune hopper in the way. Oh, man. Maybe if I do that. Come on. We're turning this into a spiral roller coaster. Ah, it's in the way again. Dang it. Okay, level out and... And back underground. Okay, that's too low for supports. Let's make this enormous. Lots of windy track pieces. Woo! Although I have a feeling that we may have a stat penalty because this isn't low enough. So we may have to come out somewhere and have a big drop just to satisfy the stat requirement. And I think we have a straight way here we might be able to do it. Though we might screw up some of our palm trees. Oh no, my station's there. Whoops. We have to go up first and then go over the station. Let's see, where am I lined up? Okay, there I am. Okay, so we can go straight a bit, a bit longer. There we go. That's not going to cut it. Hold on. Um, let's go up. I don't think we even need that lift hill, but I'm going to leave it because I don't want to. <laughs> it's too much work. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a headache. 
Come on. And this will be where we come out of the ground to have a slightly longer lift hill. And I think we should have enough momentum to come up to this point, so am I going to hit anything? Okay, I ran into Sparky, but that's okay. We'll just go under Sparky. Maybe. Oh, look at that. We're going to just sneak through here. Excuse us. <laughs> go over the twist. No, nah, that's not going to work. What's in the way? It's the twist is in the way. Okay. Here we go. Just right over it. We can't do that because of the mad dragon. So we'll do this. And do this. Oh, look at it go. Golden. And from here, let's dive underground again. Okay, so now we're at negative 20, so we just need to drop 10 more feet. I have a feeling we still haven't gone long enough, though. Or maybe we have. I'm just crazy. Where is my station? It is over there. Okay, so... Let's see. Where am I? There it is. Let's add some brakes. 13. And we have vandalism. That's not good. There we go. Fix that real quick. And is this lined up at the station? Oh, it is. It's lined up perfectly. Sweet. All right. Let's put our stations. Um, I don't know. Here. Okay. So let's let this... Let this monstrosity test. I don't know if we're going to meet the stat requirements, though. This is just a, a wonky test. Let's just see what happens here. It appears we have more vandalism. Oh, sports cars. For... For this. Okay. Aha, so we have three, I think. Or no, four. F five. What little... One, two, three, four. Yeah, four, four variants of that ride. In the vanilla game, the, some of these were treated as their own individual rides, but OpenRCT has kind of looked at them. They're all, they all do the same thing. It's just consolidated them into one ride with multiple train types. Same with roller coasters. Uh, floorless twister trains were treated differently from twist normal twister roller coasters, and I think the floorless tr track didn't have the same inversions, but OpenRCT2 has combined them all into one. And uh, where's train one? Follow this on main view. Whee! Stats, please. Almost. I wonder. No, no, don't open it. Darn it. Lego my ego. If we could fit an inversion on here somewhere, maybe a loop? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, take this and go this way and this way. Here we go. And from here, drop this down. And do we have room for a loop? No, and no. Maybe here. Loop left? Nope. Wrong thing. Please! No! We can't do it. We can't do it. Well, that's too bad. Although with this additional drop, we might get the stat requirement. I don't know. Oops. I think I may have pinned myself. Hold on. Maybe. 
Oh, there's all kinds of space over here. What was I thinking? I could have just done it here. <laughs> Let's just uh, slink on over. And down we go. Oh, but we have food in the way. Let's delete those. Let's uh, we'll not delete them. We'll just move it. Um, bop. Put you there. And hamburgers. How much money have you made for us? Oh, not bad. Close. Move. Bop. Leap left. That doesn't help us very much. The hyper twister's in the way. That's a problem. Okay, let's, uh... I have a feeling that this needs to be a little bit taller. There we go, 65. Now we can drop it to the ground the way we want. No, that's not going to work either. Um, shoot. Okay, we'll leave it at 60 the way it was. Just sneak on through here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we don't go. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I think we're out of the way that this roller coaster won't be a problem. So we can put a loop on. No, it's still in the way. No, no. Okay, now it should be good. Oh my goodness. For crying out loud, we did it. Now, how do we bring it back over to where it was over here? Oh no, it's way over there. Okay. Let's just uh, meander through here somehow. Maybe not like that. Let's go this way. Just discreetly sneak on through here. No, maybe, please. Although, I could just delete these and bring them over instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So let's bring this down to 25 feet. S-bend. Right. Perfect! We should have it now. What a janky roller coaster. What even is this? What even is this? <laughs> so far, so good. Come to the next lift hill. Okay, let's make sure we don't take this loop too fast. That's fine, that looks good. Okay, everything else is old news, so let's just see what happens here. Lego my ego. What even is this? <laughs> well, we're long enough, that's good. And we made the stat requirement, yes. Okay, well, as soon as I open this, I think we'll be good. So let's uh, see through the ground. Oh no, let me see. There we go. Let me close that for just a minute. And uh, bring this over to where I can see it. What even is this is in the way? <laughs> oh, that name cracks me up. Okay, so we've connected to the path. Now we have to do the same to the exit. So far, so good.
This could be a problem. Everything's in the way. Oh, now, now we're on to something. Okay. Okay. Okay, we made it. Back to the surface. And I need a sign that says, do not enter, because that's just going to get people lost. Oops, I put it in the wrong spot. Oh my gosh. That was a headache and a half. Open. I'm not even going to mess with the price. And I think that's it. I think we've won. It just takes a minute for the game to process? Maybe? Or do people have to ride it first? What even is this? <laughs> Let me double check the requirements. Ten different roller coaster types. Each have to be 4,000 feet and have an excitement of seven. So this has an excitement of seven. And Sparky, did I mess Sparky up when I deleted some of those trees? Sparky looks good. Mad Dragon looks good. More than good. Or is it that I miscounted and I need an extra ride? I sure hope that's not it. That would be terrible. Oh no. I don't want to build another one. That would be awful. Tesla coil looks fabulous. And this one, Giga Coaster, very nice. Okay, let me just, okay, so nothing, everything's open, I haven't forgotten to, oh, it's still a test run, that's why. <laughs> and with that, I think we've won. Yes, yes, we did it. Oh my gosh, that was a, Oh my word, I don't like the scenario. <laughs> I mean, it was fun. I had a great time, but oh my goodness, what a headache. My goodness. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long. If you stuck around to the end of the video, you are the best. Man, look at this park value we got. Oh my goodness. But yeah, as always, this has been fun. Consider liking the video, help the channel grow, and I will see you in the next one. So enjoy the rest of your day and have a good day.